Hey guys, it's Adam EK Swimming Bird, and welcome to Splatoon. This is the final Splatfest stream, at least until the sequel, or if they have a surprise bonus Splatfest or something. This is gonna be it, guys. We are continuing with Callie versus Marie, and if you missed the first stream we just did last night, where we got all the way up to champion rank, then definitely check that out. But we are live right now, unless you're watching it later, <laughs> and we're gonna jump back into it. And I'm gonna warm up with my permanent ink brush. My Splatfest t-shirt has been getting some abilities that seem like they, they work well with this weapon set, so that's what we're gonna start with. And uh, we have bomb throw, not throw up, I always say that. Bomb range up and uh, and special duration up, which is good for those splat bombs and the Kraken. So here we go, how you guys doing tonight? It's Saturday now, this is the normal night when I would stream, you know, a Splatterday Night Live type of deal. But it's also already the second day of the Splatfest. It's a 48-hour Splatfest, and we don't have too much time left, though. It's going to end in the morning, so we uh, we have time to get to max rank, though. We're most of the way there. This is a little nicer to be able to, uh, to kind of refresh on the way to getting to max rank. Usually I'm kind of fatigued by the time we get down to the last few points, and it's tough getting those wins, but now I'm refreshed. I'm ready to go, and I got my brush. We're going to warm up in a match here in a second. Hopefully we'll find some Team Cali to fight against because I want to make these matches count. There we go. Okay. And they've got some level 50s, so this might be kind of tough, but we'll see how we do and what our first map of the night is going to be. Walleye. Okay, good. This is a good warm-up map and also one that I think I can play a little better on. The other two are Kelp Dome and Moray Towers, and those were... We got so many, so many samurai helmets. We got... Okay, two. I thought there were three for a second, uh, but yeah... They uh, they definitely uh, used maps that were popular because of that poll, but some of the ones I'm not as into. I just realized, are we getting the calamari incantation here? Oops. Oh, still got him. Yeah. <laughs> Even though he disrupted me. Uh, but yeah, they they added some special music to this one, right? We don't normally get the calamari incantation music. I think I saw someone mention that. They were like, hey, is it just me or uh, are we getting weird? Uh, song, not weird songs, but other Squid Sister songs we don't normally have featured. I'm gonna kind of wait over here, throw one of those down for that bubble boy, or just go after him, like so. Anyone back here? They are, but they're gonna escape before I can do much. Let's throw that down and maybe go around the side. Oh, where'd they go? Oh, they're gonna get me if I'm not careful. They're following wherever I'm at. Where'd you go, buddy? There he is. Oh, this is rough. Getting warmed up, but I also can't see where I'm going. Ah, oh, I bubbled. Ah, uh, and I'm... Uh, <laughs> I tried to get out of there. My team's having a rough time. But this is a fun warm-up match, and we got a, a special song, yeah. Usually, this is the, the, the final boss theme, basically, from the single-player campaign. And this isn't something you would hear in the Splatfest. They probably added this in. At least, I'll have to listen to what the other songs that play are, because it might be, uh, might be something where we're getting a lot more songs than usual. They did just release the Amiibo. For Callie and Marie a few weeks weeks back, and uh, and those have those unique songs that uh, they basically every song the Squid Sisters sing, plus a few bonus ones that uh, that we got from uh, from solo numbers that were added for their like concert stuff were thrown in there for good measure. Here we go, so we're going around that way. We're starting to get it here. We just gotta lock this down. Anyone going up top? Maybe try to get that and get my cracking going. They got a bubbler though. Oh no! The bubbler! Uh, I don't know if this is a good idea. Throw one of those down. <laughs> and probably get out of here, because they bubbled their way through. Oh, where they- Ah! Uh, <laughs> they were right on my ink tank. Right on my back with their sploosh matic Yeah, this is going back and forth. This is an intense first match here. But I don't know if we're going to be able to take it back. We had a good lead built up for a little bit, and then things started to go the other way. Trying to watch this side as well. Look out. The bubbler is really, as always, giving them a, uh, a good advantage when it comes to trying to push back and get more turf in the center. They can just, you know, bubble their way to victory a lot of the time. And there's the bubbler again. Okay, this is when they're really going to push. I don't know if I got hit by that disruptor. I've almost got my Kraken, so we might be able to hold this down. You really just have to avoid the other team when the Kraken is, uh, or when the bubbler is going. There they go. Ah, no! And we had a lot in the center to towards that end, and then they took it back. We had a guy on the side and going into their turf, but I don't think it's going to matter 
Because they, oh, I don't know. It's kind of mixed, but they got most of the center. So I think, yeah, that was a close first match. Very intense first match as well. And my team did well. We just couldn't match the, uh, the experience and skill of some of those level 50s, it seemed. Okay, let's go into another one. I might get a fresh team here. We are 90 points away from being max rank. But if you win these matches and you get enough turf inked, you get seven points, I think, is the max. It might be eight. And then you, uh, you can get points really quick. So if we get some wins here, we'll be max rank in no time. We might keep going past max rank because who knows? It could take us a half hour. It could take us an hour or more. <laughs> to, it really depends on team makeup and, and how we do and everything. Okay, I'm going to check the chat for a bit between matches. I want to see what uh, what weapons we're going to see. I know last night uh, some people were saying the end zap. I saw some, some people wanting rollers, things like that. So we're going to switch weapons up. I like to warm up with a weapon that I can do a little better with, or feels more my style. We got Nadia on our side, who is a level 50, so feeling more confident with this team here, and hopefully we'll do all right. But uh, but yeah, so we got, let's see, Heavy Splatling, bunch of different suggestions. We'll switch through a few weapons here. Oh no, they've got the higher level players, but can we out ink them? We'll see. All right, heading to Moray. This this map I can do okay with with the brush, but it is a little worrying when you got chart. If it you know if they have any chargers, we'll see. We got a bento splatter scope on our side, and they don't have any chargers, so we might do a little better here than we normally would. Try to ink my way around. Yeah, now that this covers more more ink here on the uh, well, yeah we got the the one. <laughs> The one Calamari Incantation song again has popped up, so I wonder if it's going to be playing all night because this is like the final, you know, the final night here. We'll see. It'll probably mix up and play different stuff, I'm guessing. But yeah, I was saying the ink brush, it inks more at your feet now as long as you flick it a few times. And it's definitely nice to uh, have that extra... Whoa. See you over there, buddy. Going down. And whoop. They're going around that way. I see ya, though. You go. You escaped. Okay, somebody got him with the Kraken. Good, good, good. Trying to be, trying to be quick here. Man, these guys are just popping up all over the place. I want to get the side area. Try to keep it nice and inked. And we're tracking them, so I can kind of see where they're headed. Maybe I can hit a splat. Nope. <laughs> the range here, even with bomb range up, I'm gonna have a tough time getting it all the way to that platform where people like to hang out. And now they're moving in. They just got that guy. But I got. His buddy that tried to take him out. Where are they going? I'm trying to be careful here because I don't want to waste my Kraken. Let's throw that down and maybe they'll go right into it. Nope. <laughs> tried to see. I'm, I'm saving my Kraken as long as I can until we really need it. And just trying to hold down Fort in the middle. Oh, they snuck around. Where'd they go? They just ignored me and they went into our turf. They might pop up here in a second though. But yeah, I was not paying attention. <laughs> I was trying to defend the middle, but I wasn't paying well enough attention to other parts of the middle. And we got in trouble there. I see someone going around. Okay, this is the Kraken time. This is time for Krakening. There we go. Where's the person that had the shield? They're gone. Oh, I'm in trouble. Yeah, without much range. This is kind of a rough map. Having range is a, is a really big benefit when you got so much on the, uh, on the vertical to deal with. Okay, let's see if we can sneak in a little bit. Let's get this kid. Nope. Ah. <laughs> that was a risky maneuver that wasn't really worth it. I should have just been holding the middle. My uh, my instincts a lot of the time are to push towards the objective, but in this, going, going back to Turf Wars, which we don't usually play that often anymore, it is a little weird to, uh, to get used to having to... There we go. Nice shot. Uh, it is a little weird getting used to the fact that we just want turf. That's all you want in this situation. I just saw someone being tracked over in a different spot there. Can we get him? I got somebody with my bomb. And if I get enough for the Kraken, that would be a great finish here. Yeah, they really don't have the range to do that much to us if we're hiding up here. They are trying to get the middle as much as they can. I'm going to jump in and just go crazy on this brush in the side areas. And I think we got enough. That was such a gridlocked match. They got a little bit into ours, but I think we have more of the middle. And yeah, just barely. Another really close one. Good, good, uh, <laughs> promising matches here that mean this might be a closer contest than most of the Splatfests. I wasn't sure how it was going to shake out, popularity or 
or skill wise there we go we got eight points so that's the goal but yeah so I wasn't sure if uh, team Cali or team Marie seemed to have the better players on average or which one seemed to be the stronger team but it's hard to tell just from a few matches though of course so we'll see as we uh, we keep playing here we lost Nadia our star player which might have been that sniper but we got gumball <laughs> gumball smiley face exclamation mark okay and then uh, once we once we kind of get a few matches in here get some points with the ink brush we'll switch to other weapons but I'd like to get a, a good strong start to warm up with a weapon that I feel like I can do all right with but yeah that map is is kind of tough <laughs> to uh, to really feel like I can push in unless I'm being sneaky and if they have chargers that's usually what I'll do I'll sneak around I'll use the uh, the brushes extra speed to roll in there and try to take the chargers out but can be really like locked down if they've got the middle covered with those little beams from snipers okay let's see uh, use the very first weapon this I guess the splatter shot junior is technically yeah that's the first weapon and then uh, there's a I think this the first weapon that was made was the splatter shot so we could use that we did the wasabi last night and they're all kind of you know they're similar but oh we had some Callies in there, and they were like, uh-oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> we don't want any of Gumballs, Ink. He's, uh, he's a fierce champion. Uh, or she, I can't tell. But yeah, the uh, it's just the team just dropped, dropped out of there, so I wonder if we're going to have to get knocked out and find a new team in a second, but that's okay. There we go. Ooh. Oh, no. Aaron, he's from the U.S., or maybe that's his, uh, his squid squad. But they, again, on average, they have higher-level players... Can we hold off? One of the things though, you know, if somebody is real high leveled or is real used to playing ranked, they might not, you know, play Turf Wars, not, I, won't, I don't want to say like incorrectly, but they might play it in a way that really messes with, uh, with getting the actual win because if you're not focused on Turf, if you're focused on getting splats or really pushing in, stuff like that, then it could be one of those situations where, uh, where you're not gonna be able to win because you're not getting what matters. The good old, oop, no, jeez. <laughs> Swam out of there, and there's a Kraken going around. Let's see if we can predict where the Kraken's gonna be. Oh no, we got another Kraken here. And I'm a Kraken as well, everyone's a Kraken. I don't know where that other kid went. There they go, oh, they're up top or something. I'm gonna try to zip around. Where did they go? I thought I saw someone. Oh yeah, we can't ink up there. Man. I saw I saw some uh, purple ink flying from on top. Oh, there they there they are. That's not gonna land up there, is it? Oh, it did, but it didn't. They were too fast. Didn't hit them too fast. Too furious. <laughs> the Splatoon racing. Yeah, that I was thinking about other weapons and like, what if they just went in a crazy other different direction with the sequel? Man, my bomb. She's covered in green ink, but didn't quite get her. Uh, but what if they? Just, just we're like, okay, we're done with uh, with using ink with weapons. The Splatoon sequel is all like inklings in race cars, racing, <laughs> or something crazy. I don't think they would do that, obviously, because they tapped into something good here. That's uh, that's gonna be fun, I think. No matter what, if they keep adding new stuff to it, new weapons and everything, I, I could see this just becoming. Yeah, it's such a unique like concept compared to most shooters that uh, shooters. Um, <laughs> I was gonna say shooting games, and then sometimes that happens, or it combines into one weird sounding word. Let's be careful now. Someone going over there. They're going up top. Here they come. Try to drop this on them. Oh, they got them. Okay, good, good, good. And they can't get over. I remember that. Uh, yeah, in in non-ranked mode, can't jump over that uh that little bit there. I'm gonna be careful. Make sure we don't lose anything here. There we go. I was like, if, the, if that doesn't get him, hopefully the bomb will. All right, go, go, go. Try to ink this up before they move back in. Man, yeah, some of these weapons are so good at turf coverage that uh, it feels like I do a lot of work trying to get this covered, and then they just kind of move in and take it out. But my team's doing really well. I'm surprised that uh, despite the lower levels. But we are, you know, these are all S-ranked players. That's what our Splatfest power is is uh is matching us up with there's one right there didn't quite get him but i scared him probably i don't know okay a couple more seconds left trying to make 
get the most of this and take all of this out. Saw someone somewhere around here, right? Get them out of here. They're going into our area, but we got the center and we really held it. That's what's important for <laughs> winning the turf wars. Okay, we even extract their base. Insult to injury. We're getting more wins tonight. I don't know if Team Marie is just stronger on a Saturday. She wakes up late. She sleeps in. Callie's a morning person and Marie's a night owl, so yeah. But we're doing well. And I'm going to stick with the ink brush a little longer here just because, you know, the more wins we get now, the more bad weapons we can use. <laughs> the more weapons I'm bad with that I can use after this and still be okay point-wise to get max rank. So we'll stick with this team and see how we do. He's just Adam's just spamming R. He's a noob, says Crumb Bomb. That's how you flick the brush, though, and get the turf. I can't tell if he's trolling or not. Let's see. When does Splatfest end, says Noreen. I think it's 5 a.m. Eastern time for the U.S., but of course, you know, it's worldwide. We're, we're matched up with European players, and in Japan, they're, they're also playing. It's all going to contribute to the goal or the, uh, you know, the overall win percentage and everything. But yeah, the, uh, the Splatfest, it started, I think, 5 a.m. Eastern yesterday, Friday. So I think that's when it ends on Sunday, because it's 48 hours, so not too much longer. We don't have to worry about midnight, though, being the big cutoff. I think we'll get max rank well before that, so don't have to worry about that. We got a scrub on our team, <laughs> but that's okay. You know, if Majora's Mask has taught me anything, that even a little scrub has its part to play. Okay, <laughs> Crumb Bomb isn't trolling. He just doesn't like the way that I'm flicking ink. But we won, buddy, so what do you want? All right, let's see. Uh, okay, what are we... I'm trying to figure out... I think the end zap is what we should switch to next, because that is the one that I kept seeing last night, and we didn't get a chance to play. So I'm going to do that. I might play the new end zap that came out, the 83. And then... Yeah, we're still getting the... Cal I'm trying to pay attention to the songs, and I'm like, oh, wait... Has it only been the Calamari Incantation the whole time? I actually didn't pay attention last night to see if we even got the normal Splatfest song, or if it was all this, you know, so... Oops, did not get that one little bit, but that's okay. Every bit counts. I gotta be careful with that. Ooh, they have a charger. Okay, it's gonna make this a very different type of match than it would have been otherwise. This is, uh, this is definitely a Splatfest for charger users, more so than, uh, than usual a lot of the time. Oh, he ate my bomb. I don't think I'm going to be able to get the charger here. And they're going to shoot me over that way. Whoa! Get off! Ah! Brush! 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 <laughs> that was crazy. And there's another brush. What the? Ah! I got him too. Major pain. We got two brushes on the opponent team. And uh, that charger... Is that? I hope Summer's in a, in a good spot. I got to keep Summer safe. Okay, go, go, go. Yeah, that was... Uh, that was close. Their charger seems like they're doing well, but they're in S rank, obviously. But at the same time, I don't know if they're doing well enough to uh, to always get the shot when they want it. Try to get a little bit of a way up here, and then I'll throw one of these down and maybe get an ink brush out. There they go. They're going around that way. Here they are. Get them, get them, get them. <laughs> Try to keep my ink level high, but also hide a little bit. They got a sprinkler. They got an inkler. They're going to sneak up on me if I'm not careful. Ah! Well, <laughs> that was a weird position where I, like, thought... Oop, okay, they jumped off. That's the one I want to use. The end zap. Uh, but, yeah, they... That was a weird position where I thought someone was, like, fighting behind me, and I didn't really know what was happening there. Just trying to hide and stay alive, but it didn't matter too much in the end. Okay, let's be careful of the charger here. Get this guy. Get him. Nope. Oh, that didn't work out, but maybe I can sneak around here and stop him. Somebody else got him, I think. Okay, we're good, we're good. All right, breaking through, inking our way downtown, hiding where we need to... <laughs> Jeez. Diving in, it's risky. Sometimes it can pay off. That, that brush is getting his revenge from me hitting him before. But yeah, I was like, I'm just going to jump in here to try to get out of the Charger's line of sight. It didn't quite work out there. The other brush saw me. Clean that up. Okay, this time will be a little safer. I always forget, I go into their side area, but I always forget we have this little side area too. Gotta be careful though, because who knows where that charger is. Okay, they're all jumping to me. This is when we really need to push though. And as soon as I get a shot here, going in, get that guy out. If that charger's gone, we should be good. Okay, keep the center. 
That's important as well. Get the Kraken going and get a lot of this ink. Go, 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 go. <laughs> I think we got it. All right, good. That final push took it for us. Their charger could not stop us, nor could the two ink brushes on their end. And uh, we got them. All right. <laughs> this team is working out pretty well so far. And maybe one more with the ink brush, and we'll drop out of here. Yeah, that one brush. Draco had some trouble. Couldn't get any splats. But we're doing well. We're a third of the way through the last rank here. Man, so bittersweet. I mentioned that last night, but it's like, it's fun being in a splat fest, but every once in a while I remember that this is our last one. But I did mention at the start, I don't think this is, you know, the last splat fest ever. They might trick us and be like, hey, here's the results. Guess what? We were just kidding. We're still going to do splat fests because... I think uh, I think the the Splatfests, a lot of people, or at least on our end as a player, playing the game, it doesn't seem like the Splatfests are that complicated to set up now that they have the way that they work. And But I'm sure it is a lot of, you know, work on their end monitoring this stuff and keeping the server, you know, making sure the servers aren't going down and everything. Time that they could be using on the, uh, the sequels. Plus it's during the weekend, which, they, you know, I'm not sure how many days a week the Splatoon developers work. <laughs> But they have to come in on the weekend to do the Splatfest if they're they're trying to make sure it's all, you know, going A-OK. -okay. So it is time out of their, uh, their development that they could be putting into the next Splatoon game. So either way, I think I'll, you know, it's, it's, I'll be happy if we get more of them, but I, I'll understand if we don't. So hopefully you guys do as well. But yeah, I kind of feel like they might have some secret announcement after this is over or something weird. What if they're like, oh, here's a new thing, Splatfest are... Yesterday, we're keeping it fresh with Sploop Fests. No, it would be something comp maybe different, but <laughs> that would be the worst name. I'm not a, I'm not one of the Splatoon developers for good reason. Okay, so, ooh, we got a friendly fire match. We're still kind of green here. We're a little bit more of a exorcist pea soup type of green, and they got the blue. I gotta look out for those rollers. Carbon rollers always give me trouble because they tend to, uh, to outclass the brushes, I feel like, a little bit. With, uh, with the fact that they play a very similar style where they, you know, they kind of move in, get that quick hit, and, and get out of there is one of the ways that people play it. But at the same time, I'm like, yeah, I don't know if I should be switching to a carbon roller and trying that. Anyone around here? Or they just kind of inked a little bit and ran away. Let's see. Oh, somebody is around. Where'd they go? They might have just been... They might have a, uh, a charger. I'm not really sure. Throw a bomb in there. People always feel really safe when they're... There we go. I was going to say, people always feel safe when their bomb rush is going off. Like, they feel people aren't going to uh, to push in at all when that's going down. But, you know, that's one of the better times to, like, throw a bomb in to, uh, to take them out. Because they're going to feel safe there. And uh, almost got him with that. Nope. <laughs> a little too far in the wrong direction. Hey, buddy. Get over here with your soda sloshing ways. I'm just gonna back up, throw a bomb. He knew I was running out. Yeah. It's a lot of mind games when you get into the higher levels of, uh, of rank. Because he, like, knew I, my Kraken was gonna run out. I knew that he knew that my Kraken was gonna run out. Feels like we're having a tough time getting pushed in here. I try to use, you know, use the swim speed, jump, throw, to really get that distance and, uh, and hit them with bombs when they don't think it's gonna go that far. Someone's behind us, aren't they? At least I thought I saw that. Yep, there they go. Oh, going around this way now. It's the dynamo. Try to root him in with my buddy there, but I don't know if we got him. I think we did. Yep, he's gone. Okay, I keep getting distracted by the people going around the side. I can't focus on the center too long. This is a good ink color combo. That was real close. A little bit more ink, and I've got my... I've got my uh, crack in here. It should... Be able to get in there and take out that dynamo. Okay, here we go. Let's do it. Whoop. There we go. Oh, no. He's getting away. He's going around that way. Yeah, there's not enough time on this thing to really get much. Oh, yeah, they got too close. There's what I... All that, all that uh, apprehension about the dynamo and trying to take him out. And then what did I get taken out by? The carbon roller that I was talking about before. Okay, going up that ramp never feels like it works out for me that well. Get him, get him, get him. Ah, there we go. The jump strat helped a little bit there, but we got somebody behind us. Man, they're really pushing in. Get out of here, you joy. Yeah, they're pushing into our area. 
like crazy, making me think we lost someone or something went down. Very bad. There's no time. I don't think we're going to get this here. I'm going to try to get a little bit more turf in the end. Throw a bomb into there. And go, 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 go. Get him, get him, get him. Ah! <laughs> we started to take the middle again, but I have a feeling they still have enough from the side areas to get us. This is closer than I thought it would be, given that last few seconds. Yeah, jeez. Perfect 50%. For their side looked a little closer <laughs> towards the end but i had a feeling that was going to be tough at least that was another marie team and uh yeah they had some higher level players let's let's drop out here and get another weapon though because like i said we we played the ink brush for a bit and i think that's a sign to switch off we got a lot of wins and a lot of points but it's time to hang it up for now okay so let's see how else are we going to get super sea snails says andrew i talked about this a little bit before, and a lot of people are worried about the fact that the Super Sea Snails are basically no longer in the game after this, but uh, but at the same time, I kind of want some run speed up, but I might not worry about that, since I uh, I think we'll be okay here. That gave me a little run speed up, but we'll be okay. All right, let's jump into it. Uh, but yeah, the, the Super Sea Snails, they're kind of unnecessary if you think about it. They have the exact same function as paying the 30,000 gold. So they're cool as a mechanic, as like a reward, because they are valuable to unlock your slots on your gear and, and re-roll it and stuff like that. But I think because we have that alternative, there there's probably not going to be a way to get Super Sea Snails. But who knows? Maybe that's what they're going to put in. Maybe the Splatfests are ending, but they might be like, hey, here's another way you can get them if you fight Judd in a special match where Judd has ink for some reason. No, that wouldn't work. I want to see Judd get more involved in the sequel. A lot of the uh, a lot of the side characters I really like in these in this game, but most of them are vendors or or just a cat that's dancing around. So they need <laughs> it would be cool if they involved them more with the plot. We know Judd is is one of the most important characters though in the game because he does judge all the matches. We are looking at a, almost an entire level 50 Marie team, but again, those are our, you know they're on my side, so I'm not. I'm not too sad about them being out there getting those wins, but yeah, it seems like we might have a tough time with this. Okay, but yeah, that's I just realized I was like, get those other characters more involved. Most of them, except for Captain Cuttlefish, don't have the ability to make ink because they're not squids. But uh, but yeah, it would be cool to at least see them more involved in the story in some way, even if they're not out here battling that sort of thing. All right, let's use our swim speed up to kind of move in. Yeah, it feels like the, we're only getting the Calamari Incantation song for the last bit here. We should really be pushing into the uh, the center, even though we're getting a lot of turf back. This is, you know, it's all important, getting the turf all over the place. We got our special so quick, it's crazy. I'm going to try to throw some, uh, some point sensors in there to make sure. Yeah, we're using a we're using a shooter weapon, so I have to, I have to remember that uh, this is where we want to go with that. Or, you know, I don't know. <laughs> that wasn't anything that I meant to say, really. I wanted to say, I have to remember that I need to be aiming a lot better and more precise if we want to get any splats. Okay, they do have a charger. They got two of them, it looks like. Try to track one of them. Oh, where is that coming from? Somebody behind us? I kind of activated that a little earlier than I wanted. Get this guy. Nope. Oh, get him, get him. Ah! <laughs> I thought I would at least take him out before I was just stuck in there. If that end zap didn't take me out, the uh, the crazy killer whale would have. That was a bad time to act. I think I got hit by ink and I thought someone was behind me, so I was like, better turn my kraken on to uh, save me. But it might have just been a sprinkler. Now that I think about it. Okay, let's be careful here. These charger. Yeah, this is like ah. <laughs> well, it wasn't the charger that time. But yeah, the chargers make this map so frustrating because I know like. They have such a big advantage with the way the turf is set up. But, you know, there's a lot of maps where chargers are not very good. It's just tough when I'm not a charger player. I'm like, I need to get I need to get good with those so I can try to use this uh, this map to my advantage a little bit. But, yeah, we'll do our best here. It's just they have two chargers. One of them, I think, is at least an E-leader because he's aiming all the way over here. So he might be able to hit us no matter where we are. All right, I'm going to try to look out for these guys. Throw one of those in. Get out of Ah! Whoa! Okay. Somehow we slipped under there. Let's see if we can get this kid. Ah! We got him. Okay. 
Yeah, the first match when I switch from a, a brush or anything that doesn't require precise aim to a shooter is always so rough because I'm trying to uh, get used to aiming. And it's a little tough to deal with. There we go. Get that sprinkler out of there. We do have to be extra, extra careful here because the chargers are going to come after us. There goes a kid all the way up top. Nope. They're getting out, though. Jeez. Oh, anyone sneaking up behind us? Looks like it. Or no, that might have been just the charger. That guy's going around the side. Jeez. Yeah, I, don't, I feel like we're not going to be able to get anywhere near that charger in time to actually get enough covered. And, ooh, get the middle. We kind of brought it back a little bit towards the end. I got a good amount of that little middle area, but it feels like they pushed in so much and they had those charge shots hitting all the way into our turf that we just got a bad bad uh, roll of the dice there. We had a charger. I just don't, yeah. Our team was not doing quite as well. Yeah, they're two chargers. They were on the bottom of the team, though. It was like their, uh, their Hydra was doing more of, that, more of that charging work a little bit. Okay. So, we should hopefully... Oh, I should have jumped out and joined another team after that. But yeah, we should hopefully have our t-shirt leveled up all the way before... It usually tends to be done leveling if you don't level it at all uh, before the Splatfest starts then it tends to be by the time you get to max rank then it's fully unlocked and has your uh, your abilities there for you so they kind of time it like that to maybe encourage you to keep playing afterwards or I don't know because you can still get those wins and those losses <laughs> after the uh, the max rank okay so we got Chris he's a little higher leveled I'm getting there I'm f still 46 but Eventually, I'll hit 50 and I'll have that cool cap, just like all the cool squids. Uh, let's see. So what, what do we want to do after this? We'll do one more with the end zap. I don't know if it's my cup of tea for turf wars right now, but it definitely got my Kraken like, way faster than, uh, than most weapons and, and covered so much. It worked out really well with Moray Towers because it has those long ramps, you know, long straightaways. Let's see... Uh, I did see uh, the heavy splatling. We could try a splatling. We didn't play any of those last night. And maybe we could do splatter shots and things like that. I want to get back to uh, to some of the rollers, too. We did the carbon roller a little bit last night. And it kind of made me... <laughs> I always have mentioned, like, the brushes are my favorite. The octo brush and the ink brush are probably my favorite weapons in the game. But the carbon roller seems like it might just kind of do their job a little better in a lot of ways. I don't know. It's still really quick and can get in there and get that one flick that you need to take someone out. Let's see. Too many people? <laughs> this is goth cake. There's a lot, yeah, a lot of people hanging out because this is the big send-off. And we're almost done. Let's see. I, oh, took a little... Yeah, the Cali teams aren't popping up as much. Maybe they are really early birds because there's not as many here in the home stretch. We've been fighting a few Marie's. Okay, head back to Walleye. This is where I feel like I'm most comfortable. The first stage we... Oh, actually, I think going back, the first stage we ever played... Was it Walleye? It probably was, but it could have been the uh, Salt Spray Rig as well, because they were both in the test fire. But yeah, I went back to the uh, the test fires recently. It's crazy to, uh, to look back on that and see, like, everyone just kind of, like, running around like they just learned how to walk sort of thing. Oh, I have a point sensor. I don't have a... Uh, don't have the old. There they are. I don't have the old. Uh, whoop, get this guy. Get that sniper out of here. There they go. Okay, good. We got some good snipers on our side as well. And I'll try to take out this kid. Nope. They had a faster weapon. Jordan with the splash matic. Um. But yeah, going back to the. To watch the test fires is so funny how no one knew how to play. And we we're all just kind of walking around trying our best, but. It was just really funny to go back to now. Gotta get this kid out of here. There we go. Okay, good. Yeah, I really have to focus fire. Or I'm gonna get taken out by a lot of these little, uh, a lot of these little splatling or er, splatter. Yeah, <laughs> splat charger. It's really hard to keep track when I'm also trying to uh, to move around and avoid anybody in my way here. Get that sprinkler out. Might have been a decoy. I'm just trying to also. Give, give my teammates a good shot at getting people. What was... Was it the bomb or what? Oh, no, it was the splat. Man, it took me out without 
me even being out there, it looked like. But yeah, using the, the point sensors, if I feel like I'm not aiming well enough to take somebody out, at least my teammates will know exactly where they are. Now we're having such a rough time here, though. Get that kid out. Oh, man, that really should have gotten him. I hit him a ton of times there. But, nope. Wasn't enough for the game. <laughs> and they're probably pushing in. Nope, they're not. They're kind of hanging back a little bit, surprisingly. Trying to see if I can track anyone back there to help out. Go, 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 go. This is when they're going to push in on the side when I'm not looking. Here they go. Get him, get him, get him! Ah, oh, man! Thought I had that for the most part, and then lost it. Get this kid! Ooh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Someone's right there. Yeah, this kid's popping around with his bombs real fast. Ah! I got him, okay. Am I cracking? They're using the Luna Blat. That's the, uh, that's the, the little safari hat and the and the dynamo or like the luna blaster neo are like the cliche competitive squid kid there i went right into that just because i didn't even think they would be around vanessa's rubbing it in like a real jerk um <laughs> but yeah there's there's the like image of what the uh the really you know overly competitive splatoon player looks like and what type of gear they use and they usually have the uh the safari hat and the old Ooh, did we bring it back here at the end? Because we got a lot of the middle. That's the example of what, I, if we did win that, that's the example of what I mean by a ranked style team. No, they still won. <laughs> Almost, but yeah, you saw what they were doing there basically where they were trying to spawn camp and we got through at the end because they pushed so hard they weren't defending the middle. They had so many splats, but we almost took the victory from them, kind of showing that, yeah, they're not really changing their play style for turf wars, which still can work to their advantage, but at the same time, they almost lost to a team that wasn't as good because of that. Alright, let's switch weapons. I'm gonna try something else here that's not an end zap or not a shooter. We did do the zinc last night. How about we do a kind of a heavy splatling here. There's the one with the same setup that we just had, and then there's the one with the... Mm. Let's do this one. The, uh, the heavy splatling deco, the one that has the the Kraken on it, because I do like that. We didn't get our Kraken, like, almost at all before. We kept getting splatted so much. But I'll try better with this one. Okay, let's see. Try harder. <laughs> harder, better, faster, stronger. That's what we gotta do. Alright. But yeah, that uh, that match was so close, because they, uh... It seemed like it wasn't close, but yeah, that's what I mean. When you, when you focus on getting splats, you might just lose, because they're gonna sneak around and get that turf. Towards the end. All right, we're using the heavy splatling. Get us some practice for when I, I use the remix here. I want to, want to get to the the splatter scope and the splat charger, the bentos, firsthand. But I need to practice my charging stuff, and then I'll get to the heavy splatling. We still have a few Sheldon's picks, volume two weapons that I have to spotlight that are on the back. You know, there's more Splatoon stuff that we're gonna do. So yeah, I know a lot of people were saying that uh, you know, it's the big final splat fest. Are people still going to play? But I got a lot more stuff to do. I want to, you know, do the other weapon spotlights. I still want to try to get S+, plus if I can. I'm at S already. And also, I would like to get back to the amiibo missions and stuff like that. So there's more to do in Splatoon, at least for me, and hopefully for you guys to watch. But here we go. Okay, this is a match that matters. We are actually playing against Callie and her minions. <laughs> Let's see. I'm going to get some water here. Okay, ready to go. We got an octo brush. We got an ink brush. They got an octo or an ink brush. Plenty of brushes here. Somebody just aiming down, looking all around. Yeah, it's been a little bit since I've used a heavy splatling, so I gotta get used to the charge time and the uh, and the whole setup with this thing. And anyone heading around here? Maybe they're going right there. I can try to hit them if they are. Yeah. Where are you going, buddy? And get all this turf while you're hesitating there. Here they come. Got a brush going in. Somebody booyahed because they know that uh, <laughs> there's someone around and they wanted to let us know that. Where are they? There they go. Oh, they bubbled. Oh no. Throw that down here. Track them. Where'd they go? Missed them. Here they come. Right? Get that mine out of there for my friend. I'm trying to hold my Kraken back as long as I can. <laughs> Kraken endurance. 
Okay, go, 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 go. Someone coming around here. Oh, that was close. Hold back. Use the Kraken only when you absolutely need to. Like right about now. There we go. <laughs> All right. And then I can push in and get a little ink up here, maybe. Man, too close to uh, get those splats there. But, ah, ah. <laughs> I knew I was in a bad spot. Just couldn't couldn't pick the right target in time. Trying to get that kid that was running away. But I didn't see the inkling behind me. Velociraptor style tends to work pretty well. There's that bubbler. I'm gonna jump out of here, track them, and back it up so that when they get out, I'll know exactly where they're gonna be. Okay, somebody got them, I think. Or the tracker ran out. There we go. Okay, we're doing well. We're getting it. Are we in, I can't tell if we're in our base or the opponent's base, because they're, they're over here fighting, covering it in ink. Go, 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 go. Let's see if we can get this kid pushing in. They're gonna try to bomb us, because they know we got heavier firepower. Get out of the way, the one minute left. <laughs> Timer, reminder. Here they come, there we go, yeah. Okay, got him, got him, got him. Yeah, this is more of a uh, kind of play patient and make sure you hit those shots. I hit them a couple times, but it wasn't enough to take them out in time. But yeah, it's like, make sure you're charged. Come on, oh, we lost somebody. Or they're just being a real stick in the mud. Uh, but yeah, the, the style of the heavy splatling is to jump down and get splatted, uh, is to make sure you're, you know, Hitting your uh, hitting your targets quick. I think they're gone, and we might still win this one despite having less players. But chances are not looking too good. Let's charge this up and push in. Did they lose people too? Because otherwise, this seems like. Oh, get that kid! Stop that squid! Someone going around this way. Here they come again. Heading right into my. No! Ah! <laughs> they took a lot of the center. We took a lot of their side. We might still have gotten this. Without a player, someone just sitting there shoegazing at spawn. Could have been disconnected. Man, I, that's always always rough when it's like, well, if that one person had done almost anything, we could have won. <laughs> they could have just shot one little bit of ink. Well, they actually, they did do a little bit, but they got kicked later. Brody was working overtime. And then, yeah, I don't know what happened. They might have lost someone too, because it felt more even than it should have for a team that lost a player. Okay. Well, I'll find a new one. That way we get away from Splat U, the person that was just standing there. But yeah, the uh, the Splatling, I don't know if Kelp Dome is a good stage for it. We did okay, we got a few Splats, but it might do better on More. And that's what I'm hoping we get here. We got some level 50s, good sign. Let's see. Uh, that one guy wants to see the Aerospray. We did that a little bit last night. Kind of tough to use the Aerospray, same problem as the brushes on More, where you have a really close range. So it can be a little tough to get the, uh, you know, if you encounter one or, you know, forbid two splat chargers on Moray Towers, so you're just like locked in like that one match we had. But we're going to see uh, if we can do well with the heavy splatling. Win or lose, maybe we'll, we'll switch off here. But this seems like a good team. Look, we got all level 50s except for me. I'm the little baby. I'm the little Boyd baby here in the bunch. All right. Can we get a Team Cali? That's what we're waiting for. The Splatfest power, uh, someone was mentioning, you know, look at the, the Splatfest power, and they, they when they added that in, they do have the eyes of the Inkling, the Squid Sister that you're on the uh, the side of. So yeah, we usually have those little kind of sadder looking eyes for Marie. But uh, yeah, so it's not anything special to this one. That has been in the game since the Splatfest power. But yeah, it's even more appropriate now because it is Marie power and her eyes are weirdly Stuck on the uh, on the meter there. Crack on says pom pom. We should do that. Yeah, I want to use or carbon rollers says Nathaniel, or the dynamo. Lots of lots of rollers in the comments suggested. So that's what we're gonna do. Someone says uh, power smash says only an hour and twenty five minutes left. It's not ending at midnight though. I think it ends at five a.m. So we're not gonna play that long, but we have ample time here don't worry it's the it's a 48 hour splat fest i'm pretty sure we got ample time somebody might have to double check that for me but but it started at 5 a.m on friday so all right slosher alexander wants to see that did we do we didn't do any slosher we did the sloshy machine in the first part of this so maybe we should do a slosher 
I think a roller would be good to go to next because we've been using a lot of a lot of uh, shooters and we yeah we've we had a splatling a shooter and an ink brush for the most part so far so I think we are gonna switch to a roller next is what I want to do the the brush is a kind of a roller you know but not really <laughs> man the the clock reset there it was getting low and then it was like nope we're adding more time because we're we're waiting this is the problem that we had back. <laughs> In the uh, in the last Splatfest with owls and birds, you know, early bird versus night owl, because it took forever to find the opposite team, and when it couldn't find it, it just kind of waited and waited to try to find it. It feels like you should get matched up with your own team a little faster. If if it doesn't find it within like 30 seconds or something, then just go, you know, with a friendly fire match. Is something I think they should change to make these matches faster, because that's why we didn't we didn't hit max rank last time, because. We ran out of time. We had like an extra half hour or so of uh, of time because of all those loading screens trying to find the other team that was not around very much, thanks to the uh, the night owls being much more popular. Okay, somebody's already over here somewhere. I'm guessing. I can't quite reach them, unfortunately. I wanted to. Kind of wait and see if they're gonna push in. Get a little bit of ink on the sides. Tempt them to move in here. And then when they do, hopefully we'll be able to hit them. They see me up here, though, I'm sure. Oh, running out, of, running out of ink. Jeez, we're like just out of range on this ramp to really hitting them. But they're... Uh, oh, somebody else is pushing them back. Try my best to keep them, keep them out of here. Yeah, there he goes. Ooh. I do have my... Uh, I do have my Kraken that I could do. So let's just do that since we're tracking them anyways. Cracking and cracking. That's what we want to do. Get him. Jeez. Oh, and I'm stuck now. But let's see if we can do this anyways. Ah, nope. <laughs> yeah, I didn't want to be down there. We kind of held him off from, from pushing too much a little bit. But at the same time, didn't get any of those splats that I wanted from that whole situation. Okay, anyone around here? No, it's all just their bombs and ink strikes, it looks like. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to throw some... Uh, some little point sensors in a little bit. And they all seem to like move in to that other area. Hopefully we're okay here. Let's be careful and cautious. Here we go. Can I get both of them? Ah! I thought the dynamo would have had my back because I got I got half the team there in one little charge. But it didn't work out. The dynamo got taken out too. Okay, a little better than the other one though. They keep ink striking this one area and we keep all going to this one spot. I need to maybe change my route a little bit after this if we get splatted here. Alright, let's cover this all up and be careful. Okay, someone's jumping to me. Yeah, I should be pushing in a little bit more. Okay, I'm gonna go with the dynamo and hopefully this will work out. Somebody's behind me, aren't they? Somebody's pushing in. There they go. Get him, get him, get him. Oh! They're gonna go around the other way now and try to get me with the bomb, but I'm not over there. I'm over here. Here we go. Come on. And where did they go? They're everywhere and nowhere at once. Nope, no, no, no. I'm out of here. I'm gonna jump up and nope. <laughs> yeah, I just kind of flounder when I'm too close to people with the splatling because I'm like, I gotta have a charge ready to go. But a lot of the time that's not gonna work out if they've got the drop on me. Okay, go, go, go. Last few seconds here. I'm gonna really try to push. Get this kid. Get any kids that are in the way. <laughs> All the children. Must be splatted. Get him! <laughs> Jeez, I'm almost dead. All right, we're good. <laughs> that sounded horrible. Okay, we might have. Yes. All right, we got the win. I think I'm ready to switch off the heavy splatling. The charge time is uh is just. I already have a tough time, you know, aiming and reacting in time compared to a lot of other players that play a lot op more often and have the practice. So I think the splatling might be giving me some trouble. He's hugging it though, he loves it. At least my little squid kid is uh, is happy with it. Okay, so we got some points. What are we? We're probably about halfway to getting max rank, I'm thinking. We might get kicked anyways, it looks like. Perfect time to switch weapons. Let's do a roller here, because we haven't used, other than the ink brush, we haven't really used a roller tonight or last night that much. Here we go. All right, I'm gonna maybe do the, let's do the, the crack on. We did the carbon roller a little bit, but it's been a while since I played with the crack on. 
Where it is? Where it is? Where is it? Here it is. Okay. We got it. And let's see. Splatendo is asking how I feel about the announced Sonic game. Yeah, they just... Last night after I got done streaming, I saw there was that big Sonic stream. And they announced the Son that Sonic Mania game. Did they announce the second game, or is that the only one? The Sonic Mania one looks pretty good. It's like a, you know, kind of like Mario Maker where it's going back to an older style. And uh, it looks like it would be fun. I haven't played many Sonics in a long time, but uh, but yeah, I, I, one of my earliest games after the original Nintendo, I got a Sega because I wanted to play Sonic and played the Sonic, uh, Sonic the Hedgehog 2 like crazy until I beat it. Okay, let's see. Try the Octobrush Nouveau. For Turf Wars, that does have the bombs that I like, but the, you know, the Ink Suka is pretty good. I, I mentioned before, I'm like, I really wish I could like make my own weapon set. I would take the Octobrush and grab probably a Splat Bomb and a Kraken, just like the permanent ink brush, but with the Octobrush. We got a Jap what looks like a Japanese player on our team, but they have to be from North America or Europe unless they're, you know, have a North American Wii U and they're in Japan or something. Let's see. People talking about Sonic a little bit here. Every time I roll around with the ink brush, I always think of Sonic, because <laughs> it does feel like that speed, that sense of speed reminds me of playing a Sonic game. I know people were talking about the Amiibos, it would be really cool if they, uh, in the future, added, like, gear based on some of the other character Amiibos, not just the Splatoon-related ones, because they could have, like, a, like, Sonic shoes or something like that, Mario cap, that type of thing, would be cool. Uh, let's see... Uh, how is the re how are the results like? Says uh, Menelik. Uh, seems so far like Marie's doing all right. We've done pretty well here. Like we've we're going back and forth with wins and losses, but it feels like I've had, you know, not a crazy amount of lot. Like some splat fests, it really you can kind of tell the other team seems to have the better players, or maybe I'm just not on as much <laughs> with my <laughs> with my. Splatten. It seems like Marie is more popular, though, at least in North America and Europe, that the type of, you know, matchmaking we have. Japan could be a different story. They might like Cali more. We'll find out, though. They're going to give us, like, a breakdown of all of the regions. Like, this is the win and popularity for the teams in uh, in in each individual region. Even though, mostly, you know, it's, it's going to matter most what the end results are. And uh, we are looking like we're on Team Cali here. Makes our t-shirt really stand out, since we have the purple ink, got the evil Octoline ink. The uh, the other color we have here is not quite as bright. I'm going to lay this down as a little distraction, try to creep in, and uh, this here, and maybe jump up. Ooh, they know I'm there, though. I'm going to jump up here and get that kid, and look out for the charger. Okay, where's that guy going? Oh, he's going right there, and I'm going to... Splat that kid? Nope, he saw me. These are s rank players, after all, so, you know, they know what they're doing. Whoop, get that kid! Ah! Yeah, the roller has seen so many nerfs that, you know, my aim wasn't that good there. But yeah, in the past, the roller was a lot easier to use. You didn't have to be quite as accurate. But they've done so many nerfs, mostly to kind of combat the dynamo being the uh, crazy power it was. Tried to roll over him, wasn't a good idea. Thought I was close enough, but he just held me back with his ink. This other team, this other Marie team seems to be good. That's a good sign for Marie maybe winning, but at the same time, it's like, I want to get the win here, even when we're not counting it towards the, uh, the total overall. How are we doing here? Anyone peeking in? I'm trying to play it safe and look out for, uh, for someone sneaking in. They're just using their bombs and their charger to really keep us out. They're waiting for me to pop up, most likely. Oh, they're tracking me, so they know exactly that I'm here. Gotta be careful. I just have no way of getting in close unless I really push and go for it. And it feels like it's not worth it, because I'm gonna get splatted. Jeez, now I'm in a bad spot. Uh, these guys are way better, it feels like. And they're not giving me any chances to get through. Let's try to get a little bit here. Look out on the other side. Whoop. Gonna hide a little bit. Man, they're just going crazy with their burst bombs. They're really making it tough to get anywhere with this roller. Go, 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 go. I want to get the ink to get the crack in, but I don't think I'm going to survive long enough. There we go. Okay, finally, I can kind of push in and 
Get the charger here, maybe? Nope. Let's get this kid. Nope. Where'd he go? I don't know. And we're dead. <laughs> and I don't think the splat... <laughs> the splat roller is not really my thing anymore, it feels like. <laughs> These guys are good, but they're also illustrating that I'm like... The carbon and the ink brush, I think, are quick enough for me to, to do something. But a lot of the time, this is like slow, but it lacks the power of the dynamo. So it's... I don't know. It feels like it's a weird, awkward middle stage where it's not quite good enough for one or the other. Go, go, go. They're really messing us up. Get it? Ah! <laughs> Yeah, they held us back that whole time. We never got into the middle, it felt like. That's the that's the S players for you. Okay. No more crack on for me. I got the Kraken once, they just crackened right back, didn't get anybody. My team just fell on our faces. They were yeah. We had some level fifties, but I don't know what, what happened there. Felt like I was bringing my team down a little too. Okay, new weapon. Let's try the carbon and then we'll contrast. <laughs> Cause I think I could do better with the carbon roller. Sorry, little Krakon. You're getting hung up again. He had his, you know, his day of glory. The Krakon Splat Roller was the big weapon when we uh, when we first started out. But with all the roller nerfs and the Kraken Burt... Bur <laughs> the Kraken nerfs and the roller nerfs, it feels like it's just not as good as it was. We're going to get kicked here. Nope. Okay. Just took an awful while. Let's grab the Carbon. And if I don't do better with the Carbon Roller, then maybe... I should be sticking with the brushes, but I feel like this is just a little easier to use. Let's see. Octobrush, I know a lot of people want to see that. We could switch to that after this as well. Luna Blaster. The Luna Blaster is one of those weapons where I'm like, especially the Neo, it's just like the sloshy machine where the, the Splat Bomb Rush is so good that it, it really does feel like it's way better than most of the specials in, in tons of modes. And I do, it is fun to use, but at the same time, that does feel like one of those weapons that a lot of people just use because they want to get the wins. <laughs> and it's like, it's a good weapon. It's not the best or anything, because you do have to be accurate. But a lot of the time, it, it does feel like, it's like picking, picking uh, Sheik and Smash Brothers. I'm sure there are people that really like Sheik and Smash 4, or Fox in, in Melee. It's picking the character that is like, the best, or, uh, or close to the best, and you get the wins. But is it the character that you like the best? Who knows? Okay. We're trying the Carbon Roller. We're going against a Hydra Splatling, which is going to be kind of tough on this map. I got this. Don't worry, buddy. <laughs> the other guy was shooting this way, but I'm like, this. Uh, the Carbon Roller can cover most of this. Okay, go, go, go. Had a little roll around there. Try to get as much of this as we can before we run out. Yeah, I have to watch out. That Hydra has range and can probably take us out even when we're all the way back here. There goes an Octobrush. Let's be careful of any Hydras popping her out. I do have my my Inkzuka here pretty soon, so if anyone is hiding up on the uh, on the one pillar there, which they usually do. Oh, they got their Inkzuka. That must be a nouveau. Let's see here. So this has Burst Bombs. Okay, I'm trying to remember what it has. I'm gonna wait until we get a good opportunity here to uh, do this like that and maybe get somebody nope <laughs> they escaped they thought we were done there too they came out they still didn't get punished for uh for trying to jump in on us but yeah this is just so much faster i really do like the carbon roller a lot i just haven't used it as much as i should there's that luna blaster <laughs> it's the neo too that's why they nerfed the neo as well with its, uh, I think its special depletion has gone up quite a bit. Because it's another one of those weapons where it seems like it just always seems to do well. It doesn't matter too much how <laughs> how much your how well your aim is when uh, when the special is so good on that thing. But yeah, the pe I don't want to discount anyone who's good with the Luna Blasters though, because it is it is still a tough weapon to use because you got to be accurate. They're really pushing in here. See if I can get out of the way and look out for those brushes. There goes the brush right there. Trying to hit them. They're getting all around every which way. I saw that cracking. Where'd they go? They're gone. Just let them. Just let them run amok a little bit, and we'll take back the center, and then we'll cover the ink back in our turf. That's the plan. No. Nope. Ah, Hydra. I knew it. I think it, it might be about time. Like somebody was suggesting to switch to a weapon I'm more used to. We're not getting these splats like I want. I have to remember, we are playing against S-ranked players. 
but it can be rough when I try to get my way in there and then still do not get any splat out of it. Get that Hydra. Get that Hydra. Yeah, they, they have so much range on us. It's going to be real tough to get close enough to take them out. Ah, that was so risky. Shouldn't have done it. They were like all over there. Come on, come on, come on. Got a few seconds here. This doesn't feel like it's going to be a win, but do my best to move in. Get some more turf in the last few seconds. Everybody's jumping in. Oh, we just have to get the middle here a little bit better. Nope. Ah. <laughs> I think that's a loss. It was closer than I thought it would be. Well, we're uh, we're maybe not a roller type of guy tonight. <laughs> Again, got blocked out by somebody with range. Can't do too much when that happens. Didn't get any splat. The same thing as this, the carbon roller. They were all level 50s. I feel like when I'm trying to <laughs> when I'm trying to use a new weapon, that's when we get the really tough team against us. I don't want to make excuses though. We'll do better. We'll just switch to a different weapon instead of whoop, struggling with one that's not working. Let's see. How about the Octobrush? I think I can do a little better with that. We'll try the Nouveau. I haven't used that in a little bit. There we go. All right. Got to go out with a bang. We're running out of uh, we're running out of points that we need to to get max rank. But I would like to go out with some good victories. So we're switching to the Octobrush. Okay. Getting my tapping figure ready. Fig <laughs> my tapping finger. My figure is uh, is not changed too much by playing Splatoon. Even though there is some movement involved. You probably get some good like calisthenics going, but it's not the best exercise. Okay, I'm gonna take a drink, check the chat, and I'll see you guys in the match. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I got my water. I'm refreshed. We got a team of all level 50s except for me. I'm using one of my favorite weapons. I've got my all rush mixed hit. No, it reminded me of that Futurama episode. But anyways, we're, we're ready to go here. I think the situation is right. We're going up against the Team Cali. This is where it counts. If we get Walleye, I'll be very happy. Hopefully not Moray. I just feel like the brush not quite as good on that. But we'll see... It's more. <laughs> All right, we'll deal with it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna really focus and get the win here with my team. Let's do it. What do we gotta deal with? Okay, not too many long range. They do have some, uh, some stuff that I gotta be careful dealing with. But, uh, but we'll do our best here. Try to get in there and get this quick, and then get out. Go, 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 go. Tap, 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 tap. We're gonna tap like crazy. And get as much turf as possible, cause that ink zuka takes quite a bit of turf to charge up. All right, let's move in. Take this all out. I know that that splatling is gonna be kinda tough to deal with if I'm not careful. I wanna be careful about uh, not getting too close. See, I knew it was gonna be popping up there. All right, got my Inkzuka. I got a sneaky splat bomb kill that I wasn't expecting. Somebody might be over there. There we go. They got their own Inkzuka going. Let's just go crazy here. Oh, they're tracking me, so I gotta be careful without getting snuck up on when they know exactly where I'm at. Here comes a little kid. No, no, no. Ah! <laughs> well, I <laughs> missed my ink resistance a little bit there. We just got stuck in the muck. But we're doing okay. Getting pumped up by the, uh, <laughs> by the Squid Sisters music. Let's go. I'll fill in some of the patches as we go through here. Just missing a bit of this ink, yeah. Did a very sloppy, uneven job filling that in. There they go. I'm gonna chase this kid all the way back here. Okay, good. No! Nope. Uh, didn't realize his friend followed him all the way there. If I had just hung back and let that one guy get him, it would have been better. So gotta, gotta focus. Gotta remember. These guys are the best. No, not the best of the best, but yeah. When you're playing against S rank players, it's gonna be tough. I've gotten a few splats already, so happy with that. Throw that down if they're gonna push in. I'm about to throw one of those way over there. Behind them. Oh, they didn't. <laughs> There's, this is just a stalemate. They're not really giving me any uh, chances to move in here and get them. Go, go, go. Oh, yep. They're just kind of stalling here, distracting from getting the main prize, which is the center. I, if I last long enough, 
And we're gonna... I'm just gonna bail because I saw someone dropping down. Uh, but yeah, if I stayed alive long enough, we would have had our Inkzuka there. I'm just gonna move in. We'll take their turf. See how they like it. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, I didn't have the Kraken. That's the big problem with uh, with using the, the other Octobrush. I don't like this one as much. What is going on here? My team's just failing. Uh, <laughs> the, uh, the Octobrush, when we don't have our Kraken, is just gonna make me wanna hit that and, uh, and get the Kraken going when I can't do it. There he goes. There he goes. Have one of the... Yeah, these guys are just experts at hit-and-run annoying tactics where they're all over the place. Just kind of covering as much turf as they can. Go, 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 go. I have my Ixuka. Should be firing it towards the center. Covering some of that. I don't know what happened there. <laughs> I got a few splats, but what was going on with my team? <laughs> We'll see. Man, that was one of the worst, worst showings we had. Did we lose someone? Were they eating a snack? Let's see. I got two splats. Yeah, we had two players with zero splats. And they, uh, yeah, they just won. Can't say it any other way. This happens a lot of the time, though, with the Splatfest. We'll be streaming. I'm trying my best. I'm trying to play as, as well as I can. And then we have a streak of losses, and I accidentally joined the team again. <laughs> no! All right, we'll keep playing. I'm not going to get discouraged by one or two losses. We'll be all right. And I have a feeling Marie, just in general, has some strong strong players on her side. Because whenever we go up against the team Marie, they're really good. And did they even join again? I don't know. All right. One more with the Octobrush. If we lose with the Nouveau, we'll switch to something else. And, uh, oop, there we go. Okay. I think these are all new players for the most part. So this is a fresh team either way. We'll see. Uh, custom E-Leader without the scope, says CJ Splat. I don't think we're going to be doing any of the chargers tonight, <laughs> but uh, but we'll switch off to something. Man, a lot of these teams, I'm like, are these guys just this? Well, they're they're in S rank, so they've got to be close to max level, if not already there. Unless it's crazy. I wonder what's the what's the lowest level S rank that uh, that anyone has seen because I wonder if someone could just like start out and make their way into S rank like super quick. You know, it's possible. You have to be level, is it level, it wasn't level 10, right, to play ranked? I'm trying to remember. It unlocked at level 10, I think, originally, or when enough players hit level 10. But I'm curious uh, if anyone has seen like a level 10 or level, you know, really low level person all the way in S rank already. They're probably someone who practices on another account and then they, uh, Switch over to what? Okay. <laughs> Philly D behind me with the Inkzuka. Gotta be watching all my sides. I get focused on one person and then, you know, it's gonna cost me in the end. Paint that up a little bit. My team's not uh not getting a lot of this area, but the middle is more important in the end. Let's see how we do. Yeah, uh, you know, all things considered, uh, we're not doing that bad, because I just made it to S rank, so I'm not used to play fighting against these types of players. I almost, ne other than when we did the squad battles, you know, I'll, I want to do more of those too in the future, but when I played with you guys, I got a little taste of S rank players, but at the same time, wasn't that many of them that I got to play against before now, when I finally made my way up to that. Anybody jumping in here? Oh, here comes someone. I got an Ixuka. Gonna just waste it all on me, or moving over there. Whoop. Throw that in. And look out. Okay, I have my Inkzuka. Can I make it worth my while to use? Where'd they go? They're all over the place here. They know that I've got it, so they're probably hiding. And this is uh, there we go. I keep getting people with splat bombs, but. Not gonna, not gonna do it in the end if it's only getting splats with splat bombs. I could be using any weapon that has them. Elijah hitting me with the seeker. My team is fighting the best they can, but it's not quite working out. There we go. Okay, finally got an octo brush kill or splat, whatever you want to call it. Oh, all right, push, 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 push. Gotta be careful because someone's probably real close here. Nope, they're not around. We're okay. Do they have a Seeker Bomb Rush, or are they just throwing those Seekers in, like, so quickly there? 
goes that carbon roller. Oh, look, look, look out. <laughs> look, look, look out. Nickelodeon. Get that kid, possibly. Oh, jeez. I'm in a bad spot here. Where I feel like I'm gonna have a tough time getting out of that. Yeah, again, don't know what's... I, I feel like it's not just me. We're just getting pushed back. My team is having a tough time. Come on. We could push right in the end here, though. We get this if we're good enough with it. There we go. Oh, nope, nope, nope. Get it, get it, get it. <laughs> uh, if I had taken him out, maybe we would have gotten the last bit of ink we needed in the center to get that win. It's always the last 30 seconds that are most important. All right. We tried, but we did not succeed in that one. Five, yeah. I still got a good amount of splats. I feel like I wasn't playing that bad. <laughs> Just the other team, once again, was better. What can I say? All right. I'm going to switch weapons, though. Maybe something that's not... Yeah, we've had a splat roller, a carbon roller, and an octobrush in a row. All the roller stuff, and we haven't been getting too many wins. Maybe if I do switch to something else, we'll do a little better. I was about to switch to the sloshing, you know, the soda slosher, but it has that same setup as the one we were just using. Hmm. I kind of want to try the 52 gal. It's been a little bit since I've uh, I've used it, and I feel like as long as we get the uh, the walleye <laughs> warehouse, well, it can be good on a lot of maps, but walleye warehouse especially. I love the seekers on that one. I just made me you know think about that because I got hit by a seeker. <laughs> we got the general on our team. We're determined to do better here as we keep going. Somebody wants to see the bamboozler. Ted, I don't know if that would be a good idea right now. We're on a losing streak, and we got to redeem ourselves. Let's see. Oh, we lost our connection. Uh, Alexander says, are you going to go back to Animal Crossing? If you didn't catch the first big chunk of this uh, Splatfest, I did mention the new update coming out for Animal Crossing in the fall. And I am going to... I'm going to come back to Animal Crossing. I might wait until the fall to, to get back and uh, and start playing again. Because I want to... I think Tomodachi Life is the next series I want to get back to and finish up. Because we finished up Majora's Mask. And Tomodachi Life I, has been requested a lot. So I think that's the next one. I don't have much to do in that game. And then I'll probably jump into either Pokemon or Animal Crossing next. But anyways, we got a lot of you know new stuff coming. Not just reviving series. But in the meantime, while we're waiting for a new Animal Crossing... Might as well get back to New Leaf and do a few things that we haven't done. Finish it up. Let's see. Eating Doritos, says the Supermaster Ross. Good way to to fuel for playing. <laughs> that's another, like, we're talking about the cliche, like, outfit and weapons people use, but that's the cliche gamer food, is the Doritos and Mountain Dew and stuff. Okay, let's see. This isn't the map I would think of as being good with the Seekers, but it might actually work out well because that center area is uh, not too bad. You know, the, the 52 gal and the 96 gal both had those nerfs not too long ago, so uh, they're not quite as good. Used to be almost definitively like the best gun or, you know, weapons in the game, but now they take a little bit more to splat, I believe. Put that down there. Try to help out, trying to watch both sides while making sure this guy is not hanging around. He didn't super jump away. He bubbled. Ooh, he bubbled first, too, so he's... Yep, there he goes. <laughs> now everyone's jumping in. Let's see if I can get this kid. He's zipping away. Here he comes around that way. Everyone's just super jumping away because they're like, this is not a good situation to be in. I'm going to... Ooh, they got an ink strike. I just looked at the map and saw the ink strike as I launched my ink strike. Here they come. Okay, good. I didn't want my teammate to die there, but I said good as in they took him out. Okay, good, 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 good. We're holding this down a little bit. Trying to really make sure I'm watching. Setting up in, like, a spot to, like, check where people are coming from. You know, always keep an eye on multiple corners seems to be... A, it's a more defensive way to play, but I tend to do better when I can kind of approach a situation and feel like I know what's going on with it a little better. Oh, they're sneaking around. Here he comes. Is he going to back up? Nope. He's going that way. He's going this way. He's going every which way. <laughs> Keep having the problem with sending those seekers in and then not getting the person. Okay. Time to get the... Ooh, the center is in trouble. We gotta stop focusing on the side area a little bit. Did they get him? Is he still around? Having some trouble. 
find in, if there's someone in, hiding in the little nooks and crannies. Yeah, the Seekers, they use up so much ink, it can be a little tough to uh, to get splats with them, because they are they are kind of slow. They do ink more than they used to, but uh, but they give your opponent enough time to, uh, to get out of the way sometimes, and can be tougher to avoid. There we go, got someone with it. Send this back there. <laughs> Jump it in with their uh, their ink mine. They must be using the bubbler one, the one ink brush that has the bubbler. Send in that ink strike. Yeah, I'm having a tough time. I'm using my seekers too much probably, but it helps me be able to stay at range. And then if they really do get close to me, that's when I'll throw in the uh, throw out the actual 52 gal shots. Here comes some bubblers from those ink brushes. Come on, come on, come on. Get these kids. Okay, this is when we can move in, hopefully. Go, go, go. We got the keys to the apartment. Move in. Send that in. And hopefully, we're not going to have enough here to get the uh, the ink strike that we need. But, oh man, they got around our side. We had the center. They got their spawn really well, and they got around our side. Pretty close match, but... Ah, jeez. Well, <laughs> what are you going to do? I think uh, I think we did a little better there. I did get some splats. Oh, we only got one. <laughs> okay, maybe we're <laughs> not meant to use the seekers so much. Let's see. We got 39 points left. What do I want to use? What do you guys want to see? Gotta find something that uh, that can work out to get us those wins, even against S rankers. Someone said, "Why is this your last Splatoon live stream?" This is not going to be my last Splatoon live stream. It's the last Splatfest live stream. Not by my choice. This is just what we're dealing with, you know. They're ending the splat fests, supposedly. We'll see. I'm still not sure if they're going to. I'm just going back to the ink brush for a little bit, because I feel like we can do better with it. We'll get some wins, then we'll switch to something else. I'm just on a losing streak here that we got a break, where splat fest power went down quite a bit. Okay. But yeah, we are definitely not done with Splatoon. We are, uh... We've got more to do, definitely. I want to do more squad battles. I'd like to try to get... S plus, I can't do squad battles for that. I'm gonna highlight the rest of the weapons we haven't done, and you know, get the amiibo gear and different things. But for the Splatfests themselves, are no more supposedly. I still am holding out hope. <laughs> if you couldn't tell, okay, we're going up against Team Cali with Team Cali as one of their players. All right, time to focus. Time to use my bombs. I do have the Kraken this time, so I won't accidentally activate the Ink Zuka thinking that I'm going to protect myself <laughs> and waste it. That happens too often when I switch between Octo Brushes. We're at the front of the team. We do have to deal with a Dual Squelcher and a uh, the other uh, Charger there. It's going to make it tough on us. I'll get this side. I usually go down the one way, but yeah. We're going to make it a little easier for my teammates there. They're going the other way. Cover all this. They got that. I'm going to just jump in here and Look out for the charger, because I know they're gonna be waiting for a juicy little, you know, ink brush like myself to get get splatted. That sounded weird and creepy, but you guys know what I mean. An easy target, seemingly, is the ink brush when you're a charger player. Alright, I'm gonna zip through here and look out. I do have my Kraken, and they're probably expecting this. Here they go. Well, they just jumped right off there, didn't they? careful make sure we're not in a bad spot here they just yeah they kind of ran away oh, can we ink this up yeah the range on this is bad so I might not be able to set this up as easily here have one of those and look out get out of there before they get us Whoop. get him get him ah, I hate when I throw the bomb down and I, I think that's at least gonna take them out but they're not close enough all right, they're doing the thing. This is like one of those, one of those maps, just like Camp Triggerfish, where uh, a lot of the really good players, the way that they win is by getting behind your enemy lines and just playing the uh, the subterfuge, annoy your opponents and get all their turf behind their backs type of game, you know. Oh, careful now. I'm gonna be cautious here. They are tracking me, so they know that I'm back here. Whoa, get this kid. There we go. Good, 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 good. We're doing a little better here. Really got to push in while we have the time. Ah, uh, my cord is stuck under my chair wheel. Never a good thing. Let's 
zip, zip, zip our way over here. Hopefully no one notices us. There they are. Get him, get him, get him. And get this kid too. If we can't, I'm going to crack in him. Get him. Did they fall off? Yep, they did. Ha <laughs> ha. Well, that's a splat. It's a splat in my book. All right, this is when we want to push in here and just be extra careful. They're going to be respawning. No. Look out. No. Ah, I tried to jump back on the wall. Not a good thing. Oh, uh, no, we all got, I think we almost all got splatted. We had a, a big push, and we all blew it. <laughs> oh, no. Man, that was so close to being such a good finish. We can still bring it back, possibly. But I don't know if it's going to work out with the charger hiding there. This is such a risky move. Why did I do that? Why did I jump off? Get out of here. And look out. They're coming back. Here they come. Get them, get them, get them. There we go. And get more in the middle. Come on. Uh, probably not enough. I went, I went a little too far to try to loop back around. And they got too much of our side area. Jeez. Closer than I thought. And we did better. But again, <laughs> I was just talking about Marie having good quality players. But it does feel like Team Cali's doing better. They had a player that didn't get any splats. <laughs> and they still beat us. Jeez. Well, Naruto over here. <laughs> I won't call Naruto out. He was having some trouble on our team. Okay. I'll do another one, but we're getting a fresh team. This happens every time, though. This is kind of, kind of. We were doing really well f last night, and I think we got most of our wins really quick. So I was forgetting, you know, the sp most splat fests. Unless you find a good team, you're gonna keep losing, because it's all about teamwork. We got a Pikmin fan. We got Sweetberry. We're doing all right. I'm feeling better with the brush, though. We just gotta get some wins here to finish up. We've had a, a streak of losses. We can't finish up the last Splatfest that way. A lot of people want to see the Bamboozler. I don't know if uh, that's a good one. If we get enough wins to where we're close to the finish, I'll finish with the Bamboozler, because I do really like that weapon. Even if it's not the the, uh, the best or anything, or definitely not my best weapon. Okay. Let's see. splash of matic Trying to see what other weapons people want to see. Man, we might have had a good team there with... Uh, with the Pikmin, Pikmin fan, <laughs> but unfortunately got kicked. I'm thinking about, yeah, I have the, the Splatfest sheet open and stuff for the North America ones at least, and it it is crazy how like the, the stuff changed. Every couple Splatfests we had a change. It was like times two for the wins originally, then times four, then times six, and then the Splatfest power got introduced, and they keep changing it up. So I do have a feeling like this will finish and they'll be like, hey, the Splatfest they will continue, but we're making a radical change to how they work or something. It's possible. But yeah, thinking back. Originally they had all they didn't even have the thing where we got matched up with our own team, so if you just couldn't find the opposite team, you would sit there waiting forever. That was in dogs and uh Dogs vs. Cats and Roller Coasters vs. Water Slides. Those ones uh had kind of rough waiting periods and then they fix it they've gotten better and better as we've gone but it's still almost impossible for them to balance the teams because it is a choice and one side is obviously going to be more popular and make it so that the matches are harder to match up especially when you get higher rank yeah the higher rank you go the less players you're going to be able to run into okay this is this is a good matchup i think we got pretty even levels we're on walleye Let's try to not get pushed back towards spawn. We do have a legendary capper on our side. Oh, my gamepad is a little weirdly calibrated, but I'm not going to worry about it. We're just going to go. <laughs> just going to go and flick the ink as much as we can. Get this win. Yeah, I don't know if uh, it's going to work out as well when, uh, when the teams... But so far, we've just really gotten into a lot of situations where the teams just push, push, push into the center and make it very tough to uh, very tough to, to do too much about stopping them from pushing us back. There we go. Trapped them in their own little sprinkler cave. Okay, we're good, we're good. Staying alive. They're going to be respawning soon, looking for revenge. I'll throw that there just in case they're already over to that spot yet. Nope. How about now? <laughs> they're probably going a different way. Smart players know to go a different way to... Uh, Make sure they don't always go the same spot and uh, and get splatted a bunch of times. So I don't think we're going to get them in that same spot again. They won't fall for the same trick twice, usually. 
Although I, I did notice some people saying like there's people like trolling or just not taking it as seriously because their rank isn't at stake during the Splatfest, obviously. It's just the, the team, you know, whoever's getting the win. But uh but yeah. The matches are less stick even though this is uh this is the big global contest, the ranked mode, you know, ranking stuff is probably more important to most players than winning these turf wars. Seems like most of the people I've encountered so far are playing mostly to the best of their ability. Someone's back here somewhere. Nope, they're not. Uh, I can't see. Get out of here. Go, go, go. Get this kid. Ah, uh, <laughs> at least I took someone out with me. There we go. Took out the slosher. We're doing better this time. I have a good feeling. We just really have to keep on the pressure. Like I just, somebody just said, Andrew said in the chat, keep on the pressure. Yeah. I'm starting to adjust to, this is good Good practice to playing against s rank players without losing my rank too, so this is what I gotta get used to here, and try to do okay, get out, jeez, my buddy helped me there a little bit, stay alive, get this kid, here we go, look out, they're around, they're around here, drop that bomb, and get out, nope, get him, get him, get him, ah, no, 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 ah, <laughs> The range, I know I, I, I love the brushes, but I'm like almost universally getting splatted is down to who has the better range a lot of the time. And I hope, you know, the brushes have gotten some buffs. I'm happy that they uh, they did get more powerful. If they did have much more range, then they would be probably too strong. So they gotta balance that stuff. But at the same time, it would be tough to, uh, to get that just right. Go, 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 throw that in. A little bit more on the side here. They're tracking me, but did we do it? We got most of the center they pushed in towards our spawn. I think we got this, because we have the entire center area. We finally got a win. There we go. <laughs> it's been a little bit, a couple matches, and let's try to stick with this team. Wait, Splat U, is that the same? No, that's not the same player. They have different clothes on, but maybe they are. <laughs> they popped up again to, uh, to actually play this time and do really well. They were top of the team, but that was the person that disconnected back on Kelp Dome, I think, so that was weird. We got the win from maybe with the help of someone who uh, who was kicked out and gave us the loss before, so it evened out. All right, we're getting our Splatfest power back. I'm gonna stick with the brush for a little longer here. And uh, how are we doing? You know, we haven't been going that long, actually. We just, it feels a little longer because we've had <laughs> had a bad streak of losses, but now I'm sticking with my favorite weapon. We got lots of level 50s. I'm the I'm the little squid kid that looks like a noob bringing up the rear of the team <laughs> and holding them back a little bit, but I'm gonna try to play my best. Let's see. Alpha Star says, when's the next tournament? I wanna try to uh, get back into, you know, uh, clear out my friends list for Smash and Splatoon most likely and, and get, you know, new people in to do tournaments, but I'd rather, I want to have a Smash tournament, I think, first, because it's so much easier to set up and go so much quicker. The Splatoon tournament was so, it was really difficult to get running right. It had a lot of issues with it, trying to balance it out and stuff, so as fun as it was, I don't know if we're going to do another one anytime soon. Got a lot of stuff on the, uh, the old docket that I want to get done, like finishing up series and, and keeping up with stuff like that, so... Might be a little while, but we might, you know, that's something that I really hope that they add into the sequel is a better way to uh, to organize tournaments and stuff. Probably see more people, you know, actually playing like competitive Splatoon at local tournaments and stuff if it was, they do have the LAN setups, but you need a lot of Wii U's to do that. Kind of the same problem with Pokémon Tournament, where when you need more than one console to, uh, to really do a game, you know, set up a game, it can be tough to, uh, to get that. Whoa, no, 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 no. Ah. I always feel like the brush should be able to hold back the Kraken, but it doesn't. We did get that splat from the one kid that, uh, he saw that we were going by, and I threw the bomb and got him, so that was good. But the Kraken was, uh, kind of rough there. Is he going into a bomb? Or is he going over here? Get him, get him. There we go. I think that was the same guy that we took out. Let's, uh, Drop a bomb over there, and maybe drop a bomb right there. <laughs> kind of showing our hand a little bit. I know they're down there still, unless they super jumped away. They're around here, or maybe they jumped off the cliff. Feels like they were just waiting for us. Nope, they're gone, okay. Somebody either got them, or don't have to worry about them as much. Okay, go, 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 go. 
I don't want to push our luck too much here, but they go back into my bomb. Nope, not quite. Going around that way. Go right into that. <laughs> Gotta protect my buddy here who's super jumping in. Here we go. Get this little kid if we can. Nope, we'll just throw a bomb right there. And then if they try to chase me, they might get hit by that. <laughs> so tough to, I gotta zip out of here sometimes, but I also don't know who is, uh, who's following, or you know, what I'm running into. I just have to hope that it's friendly ink. Okay, go, 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 go. Where is everybody? Everybody's super jumping in. Okay, we're doing all right. I'm trying to keep my buddy alive there with the super jump. Keep him in a good spot. All right, we're good, we're good. Keep an eye on anyone who's trying to get the drop on us and just hold the center. Hold strong. <laughs> this is the most important part of pretty much every map is like the center area. Sometimes there's, you know, like salt spray that has the uh, the different parts that are a little more important than the center, like the top area. But uh, but yeah. Oop. I'm gonna back it up a little bit. I'll let them get close if they want to. But at the same time, drop that down. Uh oh. Uh oh. Somebody's behind us, aren't they? Nope. Okay, we're good. I have enough to get my crack in here, I think. If I get a little more ink, cover all that. This is gonna be a good finish if we can do it. Get my cracking going, get this kid. Just keep going through. Get as much ink as we can. Throw that down, get these guys out. Ah, I took them out, I got splatted, but we won, I think. <laughs> okay, much better Mori Towers now that we uh, now that we're using the bro- Oh my gosh, well, that wasn't as much of a win as I thought it was. We only won by 0.4%. I was too confident in our win there, and was, you know, sitting back thinking that was it, but it was so close. Good match. Okay, we're only 21 points away, and 8, 16, 20, you know, that's like three or f three wins or so, as long as we get all the points for it. I'm gonna stick with this team. Clutch victory, yeah. <laughs> all right. Let's see. Looks like a win. Is the the chat was like, oh, they're having the same reaction that I did. It definitely looked like a win more than it was, but it was pretty close there. I think they just had enough kind of scattered within our little area, like our in our home turf, that they uh, they got very close to winning that one, but we didn't let them have it. All right, I'm gonna get some water and check on the chat while we wait for some more Callies to jump in. Okay, uh, Lemon Aiden wants to see Breath of the Wild, the new Zelda game, when it comes out. I definitely want to play that. I might have my, my girlfriend, Danielle, play with me. But right now, I got a lot of stuff I want. Yeah, I want to finish up Twilight Princess and stuff like that. That is uh, already going before we get to that new Zelda game. But we got plenty of time. It doesn't come out till like, March. <laughs> so, that's my goal as we go on. Still playing new games, but really trying to wrap up a lot of the ones that are on the back burner a little bit. And uh, still playing ones that I are finished up technically, like we finished the story mode for Splatoon, but I still enjoy playing this and Smash Brothers, and there's certain games that I'm like, I still want to play because I like playing it, you know, despite having played through the main content stuff, but uh, but yeah, at the same time, I'm trying to trick them by hitting them around the corner. Oh, they, they might have another permanent ink rush as well. Oh, well. <laughs> Yeah, I think they did, right? Because they had a splat bomb, and they turned into a kraken. Let's see here. Oh, they're pushing. Oh no! Hey, get out of here! They're all the way up in our, in our zone. Try to get through and uh, jump up to hit them. Nope, too close. Too close there. Oh, somebody got him, right? Okay, good. Jeez, how'd they get so? They got all the way up and trying to spawn camp us right at the beginning when. Uh, that almost seems like the word, like, spawn, it makes me think of, like, salmon spawning, or... It feels like it fits with squid really well to have something called spawn. So that's just a, you know, a general gaming term. But anyways, yeah, he was trying to get right up in there. The, uh, the squid were trying to go up the waterfall to, uh, to lay their weird eggs or whatever they do. No, that's salmon. Okay. Hopefully we can take this. 
Seems to be going back and forth, but they're doing some of the stuff that, like I mentioned, the ranked, the ranked habits that might get you in trouble in the long run by making you push too much or go for too many splats or, you know, stuff like that that's really going to cause trouble if you're not in a position where you're really holding the turf. Was I being tracked there? That bomb. Ooh, look out! He's pushing in. Get him, get him, get him. Oh, here he goes. Oh, he jumped away. Haha. <laughs> I technically won. <laughs> the best kind of win. But yeah, the uh, the brush did not want to deal with that. Okay, we're doing well. I think we can hold this. I've got my Kraken when I need it. There we go. They've got a Kraken as well. I'm going to be careful here. Maybe try to pinpoint where they're going to be. And uh, let's do this and just jump in here. Go crazy. Get this kid, maybe. Nope. Throw that. Ah! Uh, <laughs> didn't get anybody. That was too pushy. Too risky. I should have just stayed back. I got my buddy over here, though, that I can jump to. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, that's, again, the uh, risk rewards for, uh, for getting the turf. I should just be, you know, holding on to a lead is better than pushing to get something you don't really need. My bomb sniffer did nothing. It didn't help us yet. My whole team got wiped, it looks like. Don't know if it was exactly because of me, but, you know, they got splatted in their own unique ways, but at the same time, I'm like, we might have uh, gotten that a little bit easier if didn't push in. I, sh I fell into the whole ranked habit that I was just talking about and chastising. Yeah, we lost by only a little bit. No! Should've saved my Kraken, just held the middle. It's uh, not as exciting of a, of a way to win, though, but man, I didn't get any splat. I threw a lot of bombs that I thought were gonna hit people, but, you know, after dying, didn't work out. Okay, maybe uh, one more with the brush. I'd like to get one more good win if we're gonna switch off to other weapons. We're in the home stretch, though, guys. A couple more matches and we'll be done. And this is it. Yep, we only have 19 more points. For, uh, that's like three matches or so of wins. would get it. And we would be done with the final Splatfest in history. No. <laughs> I'm not getting choked up, but it is a little, yeah. It's a little sad. Okay. Let's see. People talking about fish and sun and moon. Yeah, that's what I was mentioning before, like certain stuff wrapping up I want to... I want to finish certain series like Twilight Princess before starting the new Zelda, finish X and Y before starting Sun and Moon, but better, you know, better late than never. Let's see. Uh, last time I seen that much green was when I spilled a bottle of Mountain Dew, says Cat Comet. It is, I between the two colors, I think they do look good together, but it, I mentioned before, the green of Marie's team is closer to the hero colors in the uh, single player, and then Callie has the kind of purple magenta ink of the octoline so maybe she's a double agent that would be i was talking about like having a crazy twist with the sequel like maybe it's not even weapon based combat it's something else in inkopolis would be a crazy spin off or like a way to mess with people's expectations but what if the sequel Callie is the villain she's a double agent she's a very happy villain <laughs> i don't think that would happen but but anyways uh, what's going to happen to Splatoon after this? Is it worth buying anymore? Asks, who was that? Rui. Uh, yeah, I still think it's worth buying. Like, the online's not going anywhere. You can still play, unlock all the weapons, the single player's there. There's tons of stuff to do. There's no less things. The Splatfest is kind of a special event. It just chain, you know, it gets you some extra stuff, but it's nothing that you can't really still get just by earning gold and playing in the game. You won't really be able to see the nighttime stages, but I think we've seen all of the stages at night at this point, so they're documented in videos and past streams. It is crazy. I think this is something like the 50th stream I've done or something around that. But uh, for Splatoon only, I've done more than that. But yeah, 50th Splatoon stream or something close to that. I'll have to look at the playlist. But we've had 16 of these Splatfests, and it's been you know a long road, so I think they've covered all the stages. We have the naughty versus nice colors a little bit here. Thinking back to some of the old Splatfests. Alright, but yeah, it seems like they've changed to the... I haven't noticed them using the normal Splatfest song at all this this whole night. So if someone did see it, let me know between matches. Otherwise, it does seem like we're uh, we're only getting the Calamari Incantation here. Okay, they have a Charger, don't they? Let's see if we can uh, 
hit this kid here. Get out of here. There we go. Double splat. I had a little help there, but at the same time, it seemed like we did. Well, this is a Marie versus Marie match, so not as, uh, not as, there we go. <laughs> That's what I want to do. You want to drop the bomb right where you know they are. Uh, but yeah, this is another friendly fire match, but at the same time, we can still get just as many points here, so that's what I'm aiming for. Oh, saw that roller going. Hopefully we can stop him. I don't usually go around this way as much in Turf Wars, but probably would be good to uh, get a lot of this. How did I... I got I got someone with a bomb that I wasn't even paying attention to for the most part. I'll sneak around your, your little wall and uh, do that. There we go. Let's be careful, though. Still a lot of enemy ink around here, making it difficult. I'm trying to keep my eyes open for where they are where they, and where they're going. Somebody's going to be sneaking behind there with their bomb rush. Ooh, jeez. Hey, where'd that seeker? Invisible seekers. Well, that was weird. Okay. Someone's going over there with their wall. Try to get behind it. Take them out. Nope. <laughs> Didn't quite work. About one of those. We're kind of stuck in this little nook here. Trying to make sure we're keeping the center as well as we can. I think, yeah, I wonder if we're matched up with some European players in this one because you guys saw that invisible, or didn't see that invisible seeker, right? Just kind of popped out of nowhere there. This person's setting up these walls, but it's really making it, like, showing me exactly where I should put the bomb behind the wall to, uh, to make sure that we're, uh, we're getting the... Which way? I'm facing the wrong way here. I'm facing towards my home. Right? Nope. <laughs> I don't know if I even caused that guy to want to come back. Uh, here we go. Let's just jump in with this. And he won't see it coming. There we go. <laughs> Didn't realize we were tracking there, I think. But yeah, I, I got myself all mixed around. I was trying to look down at the map. We are, we were facing the, the other side, I think, a lot of that, and I didn't even realize. No, no, no. This is it. We're getting down to the last few seconds. This always happens. Try to get the side area, get as much ink as I can for the last handful here of points. We need the center. We need the center. Get these kids. There we go. Get this one. Get that one. Yeah. Ah, is it enough? Will it be enough? Because they got a lot of the side... But we started to take back the center. I feel like we lost this one, though, with how much pink. Yep. Man. Power play at the end. Didn't matter, though. Just wasn't enough time to get that center back. Facing the wrong way a lot. Of we still got eight splats. But yeah, that was a rough one. Okay. How are we doing here? Couple more wins. Still the same as the last. But we did unlock the last ability. So we'll see. Oh. Damage up. That actually rounds it out with the with the three uh, sub abilities is almost equal to one main ability. So now we definitely have two mains of damage up, which should you know help a little bit. You don't really need that much, you know. That's around what you want to have on the brushes, from what I've heard, because it does splat a little bit farther off than the brush normally would. Okay, guys, this is the home stretch. I think we're gonna we're probably gonna be done at the two hour mark here. So, 15, 20 minutes or so is my my estimation till the stream is over. Uh oh, this might be a loss though. <laughs> Look at the level 50s we're going up against. Let's see if we can do it. But yeah, when we get down to the last few points, I'll switch to something crazy like the bamboozler that some of you guys wanted to see, and we'll finish that way. We're head to Moray. We do have a sniper, and ooh, got a rival brush to deal with. Okay, here we go. Let them do a lot of that. I might just jump off because somebody always seems to go that one way to cover a lot of that turf. So I don't think I need to really do that. Go, 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 go. Cover this up as much as we can. And try to move towards the center. Tap, 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 tap. Yeah. My tapping, I haven't been uh, making sure I've really been doing max taps or anything. But it is important to have as fast a tap as you can get. Okay. Got her cracking already. Oh, I saw someone pushing in there. Wasn't quite enough. Did I get tracked? No, nope, I didn't. We're okay. And there's a Kraken going by. Throw a bomb to where I think they're going to be. I'll take them out. Jeez, I had to panic Kraken there a little bit. But I think we're okay here. Someone just jump by. Go around. I think so. Look out. 
zip, zip, zip. My way out of danger. That looked risky there. Try to cover this up because I know they're going to use that to get up on that wall there. Okay, go, 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 go. Keep my buddy alive. Nope, I didn't. <laughs> After all that, I was just trying to put some ink down under his feet so that he would live a little longer. But it didn't work out. I'm being tracked. They have a charger, don't they? Or no. It was just the ink Zuka that took him out, I think. That little Octobrush. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Close range menace isn't as close as it was. Put that down. Yeah, this is getting to be a little rough. That Octobrush jumped in so fast after we splatted him. This kind of shows, yeah, splatting is not that important in the long run because they're just going to respawn really quickly. The turf is the main thing, you know. The less inklings you have in your way, obviously, the more turf you can get. But at the same time, it's like one splat is not as worth as much as the turf that you could be covering at the same time. I know there's some people that have done the, like, pacifist kind of route where they try their best to, uh, to not take anyone out and get only turf and get their points that way. But that's got to be really tough. You get in a lot of situations probably where you're like, well, I could, you know, be doing that. But I have to let myself get splatted because <laughs> I can't get anybody. It's making me think of another game. But uh, anyways, got to focus. No time to get distracted here. Oh, what? I had my Kraken. If I realized that they were going to aim on me and splat me with like one shot, it looks like. I would have tried to do that a little bit better. Uh, we're in trouble here. Nope, nope, nope. I gotta dive in and just go crazy. Get my Kraken for the last few seconds would be great for this. Come on, come on, come on. Go, go, go. Ah, couldn't do it. We did get some of theirs, but I think they got the center and enough of ours to take us out. He held me off with his, his shots, and the Kraken could not get one last splat. All right, <laughs> we're getting close though, guys, I promise. As tough as that was, I did say even before the match started, we're going against level four level 50s, so probably gonna win. Let's see, I would like to stick with the brush though until we're getting close to the end. I know I wanna mix it up here by the time we're, uh, we're finishing, but at the same time, this feels like I've done the best on the brush this past Splatfest, so. Sticking with the weapon I know and can do well with. Okay, that's a decent level group there. That's a decent bunch of squid kids. I think we can do it. Let's see. That last match didn't matter for the overall wins, luckily, because that was a Marie versus Marie. But yeah, that, that's the thing I always say. It's not really that important if the Splatfests are over <laughs> once the Splatfests are done. But the, the thing I always say is, like, find a good team and, and just, you know, cling on to them as long as you can because... That's the best way to get wins. If you have a team that's, you know, lacking a player, it might be because they weren't doing so hot. All right. So we have 15 points. That's two wins away from finishing up. They've got some 50s, but we should be okay still. All right. Time to really focus. There we go. Walleye. I was like, no more Moray, please. <laughs> Moray is, uh, it works okay sometimes. Other times, just doesn't feel like it's that, ooh. We got a lot of weapons that are going to be kind of slower, like a charger and a, and a splatling, but we'll see. We also have a tri slosher. The tri sloshers tend to be kind of like the uh, the splushomatics and the the uh, carbon rollers, where they'll do that crazy uh, crazy attack pattern where they kind of just swim up real close and get the splat and then zip away with all their swim speed. So we'll see if that is going to be the case. There we go. Somebody shot through the wall there, so that really scared me. I thought I was being shot at. Go, go, go. Ah, I got him! <laughs> My bombs! I don't know how. The bombs are are, uh, are working okay here for me. Trying to watch my other side, make sure no one is sneaking in. There we go. They're cracking in as well. Have fun with that. I'll leave you behind, buddy. Throw that there where they're going. Oh, almost got him. <laughs> thought they were going right there, but they weren't quite. Look out. Inkzuka is zipping all over the place. I don't have any swim speed up on this set, which would be nice, but at the same time, it's uh, more important to get that extra damage up on the brushes, it feels like. Okay, doing all right. Holding them off. 
This is an important match, of course, because it is Kelly versus Marie. It's a real match for real stakes. They're going to be hopefully prime rib. No, I'm too focused on the uh, on the fight here. Somebody redeemed me, or uh, you know, saved me there, despite the fact that I uh, got in a bad way. Ooh, they're tracking me. They're trying to track me. They know exactly where I am. Got to be careful. Go, go, go. Zip in and throw that. They're just doing the, the strat that I was doing for a while there with the end zap. Just throwing those trackers down. Good, good, good. Okay. Staying alive. Getting the splats. Got the bomb and the uh, the brush splat right in a row. Comes the octo... Nope, not an octo brush. What am I saying? Here comes a uh, aerospray. There's a brush right there, though. This brush is really, you know, apprehensive to get in close, which I understand. Oh, not hitting my mark. There we go, that's what I want to do. Not quite far enough, though. Have one of those, and one of those. That octo brush is giving me so much trouble. We could just, remember this is the, the same situation I was in. I could crack in my way into there, but it's better to just save my Kraken to, uh, to use it for the ending here, if we need it. Get that kid! Splat that squid! So this is when I could use it. There we go. Oh no! That was a bad, bad idea. Drop the bomb! And, oh my gosh, the bubble! The bubble saved me! Uh, I was trying to get that one inkling, but, uh, oof. Hiding, hiding, hiding. Till the inkzooka's done, and then get this last bit. There we go! Come on, come on, come on! Oh! I think we're good. Yeah, finally got a really good team here. That's the win we needed. Look at that. Such uniform ink coverage. There we go. We did it. And, uh, all right. <laughs> the Cookie Monster. The crazy, unreasonable, and weird Cookie Mo <laughs> Wired Cookie Monster in the chat, is their username, is excited for the Bamboozler. Let's see. How many points do we need? We need five. A win would uh, would put us over the top, so I should probably switch. We'll finish up with the Bamboozer. We got the time, guys. And uh, this is gonna be it. We're gonna use the most ancient of Splatoon Turf Wars weaponry to finish up here. I just have to pick which Bamboozler should we use. Now this one is pretty good for uh, for turf coverage because you do have that ink strike. But then we do have a couple, you know, that one might be not as good, the, uh, the Mark I, since we have uh, the killer whale on there not really good for turf coverage and then I think we have the other one somewhere there it is the disruptor and echolocator on the mark II. I'm gonna go with the newer one from Sheldon's picks and maybe a bit of run speed up would be good here although I don't know I'll stick with ink recovery let's get into it though at long last this is most if we lose it's not the last match but if we win it is I think we have like two or three losses and one win till we're done and we're max rank so hopefully my teammates can uh, can pick up the slack if I don't do well with this bamboozler, but I'm going to do my best. We have a little damage up to help my burst bombs and, you know, give me a little more in terms of, uh, of power. But this hopefully is it. I'm going to play my little heart out and uh, <laughs> use every bit of ink in the weird ink containment sack that the Inklings have. That was in the single player, if you did miss that. So anyways... This is going to be, ooh, maybe, I have a feeling we might not <laughs> win this one after seeing those levels, but I'm trying my best. I'd like to get Walleye or Kelp Dome for this weapon because as good as, uh, nope, <laughs> of course, that's the way it goes. But yeah, even though we're using a charger, this is not a good charger for uh, for long range because you want to be kind of kind of close. They have a dynamo. I really need to look out for that dynamo. This is like, someone's probably like, why are you using that bamboozler? And Turf Wars, <laughs> the worst turf coverage. Not really, but it, it is pretty bad. We're gonna try our best to cover some turf here, though, and move our way in. Threw a, bur threw a burst bomb there, even though I didn't need to. I was just like, maybe I'll get a little bit of coverage with that. Okay, let's drop down here. Man, I hit the grate. Just ruined that. See, the range isn't horrible on this thing. It's the lowest of any of the chargers. It just, the damage, the, the fact that it doesn't splat in one, uh, in one hit is really the thing that hurts it. Let's see if we can push in here enough. I do have my ink strike. I'm gonna try to ink strike where the snipers like to hide because there is a uh, there's a nice little little uh, beacon set up there. 
Okay, get that out. Get that out of there. They're just throwing their bombs all over the place, and I'm trying to keep it covered. Oh, is that dynamo going to push in? Probably. There he comes. Oh, nope. <laughs> there we go. I splatted him with a burst bomb. Something you don't see every day. Yeah, the burst bombs are actually... I, I didn't like them as much, and then they got changed, and I started using them more. But the fact that they can have kind of a really quick bit of coverage in a, in a close area, I do appreciate that. Because it does help, like, if you're like, oh, this little bit of ink here, I really want to really wanna clean this up and make sure it's covered, like so. Then, uh, then it definitely helps to have the burst bomb do that. Do we have someone? Oh, no, they're just, they had an ink strike. I still don't know why this new bamboozler is heavy special depletion, because it seems very strange. Ah, because now we're going to lose a bunch of that ink strike, and they're pushing in. I should have stayed back, because I didn't know where they were. Always fight on your own terms, and make sure you're uh, not going into any situations that make it rougher on yourself to get the splat. Let's see here, are they going to be heading up? I think they are, if they haven't already. Or no, they might have just ink striked over here. I gotta remember to do the double tap. Here goes a dynamo. Oh no. Oh, this is my time to shine here. Oh, where'd they go? Get him, get him, get him! Oh, I think somebody else got him. Nope! Ah! Get out, get out! I might just jump away if they don't kill me. There we go. Yeah, this is rough. They have so many beacons. They're so much more experienced than us. But we're still gonna fight as best we can. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Come on. This is our time, guys. I'm going to ink strike on their beacons and try to push in here the last few seconds. Might be able to do this if we're pushing mu as much as we can. Come on. Get this last bit of ink. Go, 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 go. Whoa. What am I doing? Aim at the ink. Did we? We probably didn't do it because I think they started pushing the center again after I left to get some side areas. Man, they had those beacons and it really paid off. They jumped right back in. We'll do one more with the bamboozler here. If we lose, maybe we'll switch to something else. But I think we did all right. I still got some splats. We got no, we got one. <laughs> I thought I had more than one. We only got splatted once though. And yeah, five points away. We're going to use this weapon till we die. <laughs> I'll try one more with it. If we do get a loss, then we'll just uh, we'll switch to another one because we'll have enough points left where it wouldn't matter either way. Let's see. Are we going to get a good team? Are we going to get a good map? That's always important. And how are we doing here? Are we going to get a Cali team? That's even more important because that's what we need to actually make the match count. But we still get the points either way. We're almost at the two hour mark. Thank you guys so much for everyone who uh, who tuned in and stuck with us. This is our the last stream here. If you want to leave a like, I do appreciate it. Or a thumbs up. I don't know what to call them now, because they were called likes, but now it's just this thumbs up, like a Mickey Mouse glove hand. And it doesn't say like anymore, I don't think, even if you... Oh, it does say I like this when you hover over it. Okay. Anyways, man, we're having a tough time finding a uh, finding a match here, but I'm sticking to my guns. We got bamboozled, says Rams... Ram... Ramin... Or Ranin, sorry. Ranim. Hard to catch the names as they're flying by. Okay, this is it. This is the team that will hopefully get our last win for us. If we don't get it here, we'll switch to something I think I can do a little better with, and we'll finish. That just felt like that wasn't the map that uh, that I, I... I like to play the Bamboozler kind of strafing around, and, you know, kind of like the the Squiffer, where you're you're more of like a combat sniper moving around into the uh, into, into fire and out instead of hanging way back, because you got to use what range you have. But kind of tough on the Moray Towers when a lot of people are going to be above you or, yeah, at different levels. Okay, they've got the level advantage, but we've got the heart <laughs> and the sarcasm of Marie. Okay, good. This is going to be a good... We'll go out the way we started. I'm still playing more Splatoon. Don't worry, guys. It makes it sound like I'm never coming back to the game, but we'll be back to Splatoon soon. All right. And we got some rollers on our side. Somebody freaking out as well. I hope they really help out and do their best because otherwise we're uh, we're gonna lose here. Yeah, they're they're really freaking out. <laughs> Come on, let's do this. Oh yeah, I forget this. This still has the uh, the old sniper 
sniper uh, stream of of uh, how much ink or the uh, yeah whatever you want to call it the beam the laser sights that show that uh, that's where we're firing. Let's see, where's this guy going? Some burst bombs in there, maybe help him out. Oh, got someone with a special. Try to try to zoom in and out of here and get some coverage while we're while we're avoiding all these crazy suction bombs. Got my ink strike. Let's use it. Whoop. They're getting real close in here. Get him! Ah. <laughs> Somebody get her! Okay, good. Somebody got her, even if it wasn't me. Too close for me to aim properly. Go, go, go! Throw one of those down. Throw one of those down. And get out of here. Okay, the dynamo is trying to do it. Focus on the main turf. This is the prize. This is what we need. <laughs> Getting real serious. But I'd like to get a good victory here. Oh, they were too. F ah, man. Aiming down is not not fun. <laughs> just kind of hit. Yeah, aiming up, you lose your shot trajectory, but aiming down, you're really just kind of in a bad position to uh, not even be able to hit them whatsoever because they're right in the, uh, in the wrong spot there. I gotta remember to do the charge and then the tap again. It's been a while. I think the last time I really played the Bamboozlers was when the first Sheldon set came out, and that was like months ago now. Throw that in there. Get him again, and... Oh, somebody else got him. Okay. <laughs> that was close. Oh, where are you going, buddy? I'm back here. I see you over there. Mm, somebody super jumping to me. I gotta help him. I gotta help him. Mm, get him. Did they get him? Nope. Well, they did, but they're dead as well, I think. I'm trying to cover this, so I got space to go around. Here we go. Get him. Ah. <laughs> get the center. Quick, quick, quick. And... Get him! Ah. ah, man! I went crazy with all I had. Hit the burst bombs, shooting the bamboozler. I need to focus on using my main weapon more. This might be a loss, and we might have to switch off. As much as I wanted to get a final win with the bamboozler, doesn't seem like it's in the cards here. Go, go, go. Oh, almost had him. Ah, they're using their crazy specials all at once, making it. Ah, I thought I could break through. And our whole team got wiped. They saved all their specials to the last second, which is what smart players do, and we got destroyed. Okay, as much as the bamboozler is kind of fun to use, I still feel like it's one of the worst weapons. <laughs> there are a few people that are really good with it, I've seen, but it's not something that I really have ever gelled with that well, so we'll switch off to something else to finish up with the last match. Yeah, that was rough. Okay, <laughs> can't go out on a loss. We have to go out on a win. I won't use the brush. We did a bunch of brush matches already. So I'm gonna switch to something else here, but uh, but let's see. What should we use? I'll let you guys decide. Since this is the last one of the last, last match of the last Splatfest. We'll see. Okay, jumping into the equipped. What do we got? We got so many weapons here. Look at this, how many pages? Eight pages, and I still haven't unlocked the hero ones that are just reskins, but. It's crazy how many weapons there are. What are we gonna use? I'm gonna try to look at the chat and see what is the most popular here. Go with, man, I'm tempted to go with the actual one hit splat one. That's all right. Uh, I see roller, I see the Monado again. Cooper is really trying to get that Monado, but it's not in the game. I'm sorry, buddy, I hate to break it to you. Uh, what are we, Dynamo, could be good. The berry, the bucket. Should we go <laughs> the Some people freaking out with the slosher. Okay, let's do a slosher. It's summer. We'll, we'll use the soda slosher. Since it is uh, a very summery themed weapon. Perfect for the final splat fest. That's what we're going to do. I could have done the octobrush, but we did that earlier. So if you did miss it, we did play by the octobrush. All right, guys. Hopefully this is the last match. We got a great team here. Magnet Man. Can't go wrong with him. One of the, uh, the nicer powers in Mega Man 3. We got a Corgi, who's a star. I think we're good to go. All right, and they're not too bad, you know, in the level department, but I think we can take it. Thank you guys again. If you want to leave a like, I do appreciate it. This will be our last match on Kelp Dome, unless we lose. If we do lose, we'll be one point away. That's usually when the, the Splatfest ends, but we're not gonna let that happen. Okay, 
Here we go. I'm gonna play my best here. It's always, yeah. I'll never be able <laughs> It sounds like pessimistic, but I do. Realistically, I don't think I can ever play my best if I'm recording because I have to talk. And that, it makes it so much tougher to, uh, what is going on with you guys? Why are you here already? Oh, uh, no! <laughs> I ran out of ink. And Yami is just freaking out. They just totally blitzed our base. They're using the ranked strategy and just going crazy. These guys are complete jerks. They're not even trying to hold down the middle because they're like, we're just going to go for the splats and use the specials that make a huge blanket of turf that is almost impossible to avoid. How about we throw this down here and uh, get you when you go around. Nope. Jeez. I'm going to use my Inkzuka and just take out whoever's over there, hopefully. They're really pushing in. Where did they go? Man, these guys know how to hit and run. They're using those gorilla tactics. They just saw the new King Kong trailer in there. Using ah, I did it again! I really need uh, to stop throwing those, those splat bombs with this weapon, because with the brush I can still do stuff after, but this I, I just completely empty my ink tank almost with the, uh, the splat bomb, and then the slosher's not going to be able to do much when I have no ink for it. Okay, let's see here. We're starting to push back. Okay, good, good, good. We finally pushed them out of our spawn, I think. They might still be hanging out here somewhere, but where are they going? Make sure that's a little harder for them to get through. Yeah, I need to... I should just focus on using my slosher and not worry as much about the splat bombs because... I forgot how much this thing uses ink to slosh. Okay, here we go. Heading in. Trying to... Trying to make this a good final match. Go, 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 go. Shouldn't have used a weapon. I haven't used this entire time. But, you know, live and learn. We talked about Sonic earlier. That's what Sonic taught me. Get this kid. Get that kid. Get all the kids, hopefully. There we go. And get that kid. There we go. Okay. Redeemed myself a little bit from getting slaughtered so much at the, the beginning. I took down three other team members and uh, managed to use different methods for it. I think, oh, the two of them were the Inkzuka. I almost got a couple with the bombs and with the old uh, sloshing machine, or slosher. Where are the enemies? They're hiding around here somewhere. I know it. And they went into our base. Jeez, they already took back the middle. I thought my buddies were going to be able to hold it. This is going to be rough if we don't get this here at the end. Here they come. Get them. Oh, Inkzuka. Nope. Oh my gosh. I'm going to just try to get the center area. <laughs> well, I don't think my team was up to stuff there. One more weapon. <laughs> we did get a crazy triple kill, which was good. But at the same time, I don't think this this team of Marie's was as good as those team of Callie's. How'd we do? Yeah. They had somebody with zero, and they still just destroyed, because they rushed us and held us back that whole time, it seemed like, for the most part. Okay, last match. I know, uh, yeah, I try not to get frustrated, because a lot of this is out of my control. I can try to play the best I can play, and it can still, you know, go the other way, but that's the Splatfest when you're in the max rank. Okay, so last but not least, what are we using? What are we going to do? We got all these weapons. Some of them I have not used since they came out, like <laughs> like the Rapid Blaster, I think, just because, yeah, not my style of uh, of of Splatten. Okay, what are we going to use? The Junior? Should we do the Junior? Let's try it. Let's go back to the, since it's the first, if we get Walleye with the Junior, that would be a perfect way to close out the Splatfest, the first weapon on the first map for the final thing. That's what we're trying, because then the Bubbler can keep me alive, <laughs> and hopefully my teammates... All right, guys, I'm happy I have that new air conditioner because it kept it cold in here long enough to now where it's finally, this, it's so warm out there. I hope everybody's staying, staying cool. You know, some places of the world, it's probably not that warm, but it's just been such a crazy hot summer. I know a lot of you guys are probably going out playing Pokemon Go and hopefully staying hydrated. <laughs> I don't know why it turned into a PSA at the end here. But anyways, we're getting ready to finish up the stream. Thank you guys again. And, uh little over two hours. Combine it, that's about the length of an average Splatfest stream, so not really too much longer, despite having a losing streak here. We, we had more wins in the first one, I think. And then now there's tougher competition as everyone's vying 
for the final matches in the lead up to the ending. Okay. So win or lose, we have our little Splattershot Jr. I'd like to go out on a win, but we might not, because again, a level team, a le team of level 50s that have probably stuck together for a while now, that are all S rank and used to playing ranked, but I don't want to disparage. We're going to do our best either way. Hopefully my team... Nope. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> We're not playing with those guys. Let's reshuffle the cards and hopefully get a better setup here. All right. Let me see. I see a lot of people want to see the Dynamo. If we get a loss, I could do another match just so we go out on a win. But yeah, for the most part, this should be the last match. This is definitely the last one we need to get the points to get max rank. I have a better better feeling about this. Actually, th that same player just jumped in, so this is a pretty similar team setup. 50% of it, same players. <laughs> unless, another, unless that's another person with a weird cat mouth emoji. All right. Uh, Trevor is asking about if they're going to reveal the NX. I don't know if they're going to... They'll probably talk about it soon. And hopefully they're like, hey, there's going to be a Splatoon for it. That's what I'm hoping. I think we're probably going to get a Smash at launch and stuff like that. They're going to make a super version of Smash Brothers, is my theory, to go along with stuff like Zelda and really push it when it starts coming out. Oh, they have a hero, hero shot. That was one of the few weapons that I was saying I don't have. So it'd be good to get that one pretty soon here. But that's one of the, you know, one of the many things we can still do in the game. The Splatfests are ending, but Splatoon is not dead. I'm gonna keep playing, keep trying to get high rank, and uh, yeah, this is the, this is the uh, the the better Kraken set. Basically, the bubbler should just be called the better Kraken. I feel like it is uh, it is better. But the 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 problem with this set, well, it is a little balanced with the fact that this is such a short range weapon. So it does make the bubbler not quite as good, but if you have the bubbler on a, web a set that has long range, then it's like, okay, there's uh, there's no way someone's going to be able to really uh, really stop you, for the most part, by getting that bubbler going and then staying far enough away where you're just protected anyways and they can't, yeah, get close enough in. How are we doing? Looks like this team is doing well, despite everything here. Let's get this little guy out. Oh, I do have my bubbler. I want to try to use it with my team around, so maybe we can do that. How about one of these up there? They're not going to fall for it. Somebody's coming around this way. Throw that down. Try to get him. Nope. <laughs> Am I being tracked? I'm not. Let's use our bubbler and get this kid. There we go. My range was horrible. Or my, uh, my, my attacks were really bad there. My aim is what I meant. It was horrible. But we still got it because the bubbler is overpowered. <laughs> but we're using it for our side, so what are you gonna do? Yeah, I kind of begrudgingly use the bu bubbler a little bit. I just feel like it—it it really is like so forgiving. <laughs> the kraken, you still have to track people down and still get that splat. But the bubbler is uh, the bubbler is you press button to stay alive really easily. Get her, get her. There we go. Okay, good. Well, at least I still got that kid there. Back up into my bomb. You know you wanna. Go, 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 go. Get him, get him, get him. Oh, bubbler! Everybody bubble now. There we go. <laughs> Everybody bubble now. There we go. I'll lay one of those down in case they follow us. Try to get back, back, back. Careful here. Yeah, they're really pushing. This is a close match. They are just pushing as, as, as fast as we knock them back pushing back in. If I can get enough turf to get the bubbler one last time here to finish up the match, that would be great. But I don't know if it's going to happen. Put that right over. Go, go, go. And then we'll we'll never complain about the bubbler again because it gives us our uh, our final win here in the last Splatfest. Okay, last few seconds. Come on, guys. I'm going to bubble you. I'm going to bubble you. They didn't want it. They didn't want the bubbler. They didn't care about it. Tried to bubble them. Uh, no, no, no! Oh no! Uh, they really pushed. I tried to give everybody the bubbler. Nobody was around, and we're going out on a lot. Man, I thought we had that one, but I don't know what happened. They snuck around and took us out. One more match, guys. I know I said that was going to be the last one. That was the last one to get max points, but I don't want to go out on a loss if this is our last splat fest. So I'm going to switch weapons. And uh, yeah, I just still got a good amount of splats there. I just don't know what happened. They, they really. Went around and, and flanked us. But there we go. We're Marie Kings. We did our best in that match. But the, out, the other team did better.
Okay, what do we use for the last match? Maybe the Octobrush, because I saw that earlier, and that would be a good one to finish with. I don't know. Hmm. Let's see. How about... I feel like we would do better with a brush, and we could get that win easier. I'm going to go with my, my, you know, preferred Octobrush, the one that has the Kraken, and we'll finish up, because I did see some people say before. Yeah, that was in the last few seconds. So let's talk about the bubbler in the chat. But yeah, it was in the last few seconds. I was like, okay, got to use the bubbler here. It's just going to run out or I'm not you know, going to waste it. And I said, come on, but no one jumped around me because they were too busy dealing with the people behind us that snuck around. So what are you going to do? Okay. Be more alert is what I should be doing. Watching my map. I have a, a tough time looking down on the map unless I'm doing the ink strike or super jumping because I feel like it takes my attention off the main screen just long enough to get splatted when I try to look and see where the turf is getting inked and stuff, but that's something I gotta improve if I'm gonna cut it in S rank. Okay, this should be the final match, I'm hoping. We'll see. It might be all 50s, crazy good S rank players. They're gonna be good no matter what, <laughs> unless they disconnect. That's probably the only way an S rank player is gonna be bad. But this should be it. Okay, they got some lower levels. I'm feeling a little bit better about this one. Poke Link 64. That makes me think back of, uh, I got, I remember I, when I was a kid and I played Ocarina and was really into it. I got my first dog tags on like a, not that I have a ton of dog tags, but I got dog tags like engraved at a field trip and I didn't know what dog tags were for or what you were supposed to do with them with your name or anything like that. So I was like, I can't remember what I, <laughs> I think I put like Rad Ad, like that was an old, old kid nickname that I wanted to try to make a thing, but no one ever called me that. But, uh, but I had like Zelda 64 Rocks, because I liked Rocks and Zelda 64 Rocks. But it just made me think of that with that screen name there, with Poke Link 64. But anyways, enough reminiscing. Let's get in and uh, start a inking. Get him, get him, get him. Ah, jeez, jeez, jeez. He's gonna get me if I, yeah. I was like, I have to keep flicking because maybe, I was <laughs> I was talking about his nickname and that's who got me. Uh, but yeah, I was like, I had this situation there where if I stop flicking the brush, then he's gonna just come after me. I should maybe try to go after their crazy uh, amounts of beacons and I should lay some on my own probably. I didn't even think about that. I've got beacons on this thing and I gotta use them. I gotta make use of them for my teammates. Sometimes it feels like a waste of ink if your teammates don't even bother to use them, but there we go. Whoa, that was two for one deal. Get this Kraken out of here and try to get my own. And look out. I wanted to get enough ink there to uh, to get my Kraken. I kind of distracted that guy at least because I saw my buddy taking him out. I'm just going to go crazy here and take out as many squid kids as I can. Okay, good, good, good. I'll hide a beacon down here. Jeez. Yo, I <laughs> got stuck on the corner. Doesn't matter. As long as we're doing okay, that's what's more important in the end. Let's see if we can hide in a good spot to take out any of these little guys jumping around. Good. Distracted that Octobrush long enough to uh, have somebody else take him out. This is, I got a good feeling here. This team is going to do it. Take this kid out here. There we go. Before he can use his special, he wasted it. Somebody going over this way? Nope. Nobody's got really long range weapons, I think, so it's working out in my favor to, uh, to stay up top here and get tons of ink coverage and stop anyone who's uh, jumping around. There goes that Kraken. Trying to get my beacon that he doesn't even need to bother with. Where's he going? Somebody get him? I don't know. Did he even, he didn't even take the beacon out. He kind of wasted his uh, his jump there. I don't know if he even realized that that beacon was there or he was too worried about it. Mm -hmm. Get that, nope, that's not a bad guy. Ah, <laughs> no, no, no. The beacons, again, this is the last push and that's when they're pushing. They know when to push and when to get the win. We had the win for the majority of that match and then of course, last few seconds. That's what matters most. Go, 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 go. Get the turf. Get the turf. Get him, get him. Uh, <laughs> I don't think we got enough, but we started to bring it back at the end. That always happens. We're doing well. Get wiped. Completely lose. Yep. All right, one more. <laughs> We're going to keep going until I get a win, or I'm 
Turning this stream around, mister. No. Okay, we did okay. It just didn't didn't work out for old Marie once again. <laughs> Look at that. I love how it gives you points even when you're maxed out. It's like, well, I guess you can have these. They're not doing anything for you. All right, one last match. I'm going to find another team because I felt like I was doing okay. And my, my fellow Marie's let me down a little bit there. This is the last Splatfest, Nathan, he was asking. And this should be the last match. Hopefully, if Marie can uh, can stop being the lazier squid sister and kick it into gear and get this win. We got Princess Toadstool in here. And a few people who are still on the way to queen or king rank, despite the, <laughs> the last couple hours. Oh, man, it's a Marie versus Marie match, but that's okay. We'll still go out on a win, hopefully. Let's see. We've had bad luck against Marie, because I feel like the other Team Marie's we've encountered have been good. It's the classic blue versus orange, and uh, the box art colors. It's a little bit of a lighter orange, but we're going to do our best here. i got to look out for that carbon. We have two Octo Brushes, and a lot of people inking in the same spots. That, that happens a lot, where everyone's like, this is where I'm inking, and someone else is like, this is where I'm inking. And then we all just waste a little bit of ink, throwing it all down in the same little area. Okay, they already got their... It's crazy how fast some people can build their special up. Because they already had that ink strike ready to go. Put this down here and try to get this kid. It goes around. There we go. Yeah, playing with the old, uh, you know, subterfuge ninja squid style, despite not having ninja squid on this, is a good strat to use. And I hope no one's going to find me over here too quickly. Got to be careful. Yep, I see you. I see you there. Get her! Get her! <laughs> uh, we got two little squids there. And I'm just gonna... Nope. Stuck in the ink. Yeah, everyone knows how to beat the Kraken now. It's just like, shoot them. If you got two people shooting them, then that's even better. But it really feels like even knowing how to beat the Bubbler, it's like the uh, the Bubbler is still pretty tough to, uh, to take down. Ah, didn't realize someone was right there, but I had to get out of the way of the ink strike. Bad situation. Okay, good. My teammates are pushing in. Come on, other Octo Brush. We gotta do this. In the name of Octo Brushes everywhere, we need to try our best to get this splat, this win, not just a splat. Many splats, and hopefully many wins. All right, the side area and keep an eye on it, because I thought, so I thought I saw someone. Yeah, being paranoid can work out, and it can also be to your detriment if you're trying to, uh, to get the uh, get more of an area covered because you're like so focused on on trying to uh, make sure no one's sneaking up behind you that you miss the inkling ahead of you. Jeez, that that little metal Sonic with his dual squelcher is uh, giving me a lot of trouble. Now they're gonna push in. No, 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 no! Don't let them push in, guys. What? Yeah, that that dual squelcher. Here it comes. Nope, that's a that's somebody else. Ink that mine. I know it's there. Get out of here. I'm going up top and trying to stop anyone who's <laughs> going through there. <laughs> we need to push. We have no time, and they've got all the turf. Okay, good. Somebody took them out. Go, go, go. Why is someone jumping to me? I'm right near spawn. We've got some, uh... <laughs> Got some troubles here for these players. Oh, hey buddy. We're gonna take that guy out and just run away. And wait. Jump up. And look out for that guy. There he goes. Get him, get him, get him. Oh, man. Thought I had him. Okay, good. Get the turf. Get the turf. This is what matters. Get the turf. Go. <laughs> I think we did it. Okay, we got a win. As tough as that was, we did it. Thank you guys so much for watching. <laughs> You can tell the fatigue. I've been doing a lot of recording to try to prepare for going to a con, so I'm a little a little tired, but we still managed to get that win to finish up. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this. I know it was a Civil War battle, but it's a good way to finish up for the last Splatfest. I'll see you guys, though, next time for some more Splatoon. It's not going to be the Splatfest, most likely, but it will be something. And I'll see you guys then. Let's go back out to the plaza one more time. I know I was doing... Sort of a weird outro, but we're going to look at the plaza one final time, because this is our last time seeing it, unless we scan the amiibos in. All right. Thanks again, guys, and uh, stay fresh out there. Goodbye.